shot today. Let's go. Order welcome to the <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode 389 of the Lee Cast Podcast. I'm your host, Nick Thinking Cooper. Joining me, Aiden Frost Records. Hey, oh, I'm here. Colton Blue Basket Sweat. I'm here, but I mean, why should I even be? Aiden's here. He can cover the whole show for us. All right. Bye, Colton. <laughs> bye. Uh, hey, this week, we've got a lot of news. This is like News Central. Um, we're going to be talking about an upcoming uh, tournament that Colton's going to be participating in. Some news about Fiddle Sticks and Volley Bear, along with game modes, Pantheon rework, uh, chromas for your honor level patch 915 the tft patch with associated with that uh and then we've got uh new reviews in one of my favorite sections of the show i think <laughs> uh <laughs> we got a round table question uh let's see cheese pig at mail fight where we have 11 emails this week uh and then i think next week we'll be talking more in depth about lcs as the week as the season comes to a close right for yeah. NA at least? I think so. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, Aiden, why don't you tell us about your, your past week, though? Um, so as for League of Legends, the most important part, uh, I've been playing a lot of Twist, not Twisted Tree Line. Well, I have also <laughs> been playing Twisted Tree Line. Uh, Colton and I have been playing Duo Q and Twisted Tree Line uh, and getting a random third most of the time. You played like a game or two with us, I think, Nick? I played a single game with you. That we won, and you were promoted to Diamond, and we could no longer play together. <laughs> yeah, so we've been playing that. That's kind of fun. The game mode's still, like, a little bit trash, uh, which we now know don't the reason Don't say for. that. Uh, <laughs> but I, I, I don't know. It's, like, a weird, like, I enjoy it because it's nostalgic more than anything, I guess. It's not like it's a good game mode, but it's still fun to, like, dick around and play. Um, for Teamfight Tactics, though, I've been playing a lot of that, and then I was very angry with it this week. I think it's kind of <laughs> trash, the rank mode. Not because it's like, okay, first of all, I think there's problems with the fact that you, like, the top five players in the game can all run the exact same build and still be the top five players because something's so OP. I feel like the game should balance the fact that all five of these people are running the exact same build, therefore they should have less units of the same thing, therefore they should not be the top five, but... Sometimes it's just OP shit, and you can't really counter that. And just kind what of if they lowered the amount of characters in the pool? I I don't think that would be a bad idea, especially for like the early ones. I think the later ones are kind of fine. Yeah, but, right. Like yeah. you can't. I don't think you should go from ten to like six for tier fives. But yeah. there's like level ones and level twos. Like lower them down. Thirty nine of them is a little bit crazy. Yeah. Yeah, right. Because thir- thirty nine, you need you need three for a tier two. You need nine. So potentially, what, four people could get a Tier 3 and somebody could get a Tier yeah. 2? That's too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I've been playing a lot of that. That's been a little bit sad, though. I've mainly been upset with the rank. I'm currently D4 in uh, TFT, meaning, so I've, like, ta- I posted a lot on our, like, actual official League cast Twitter about this, like, ask people how they felt and stuff like that. And most people think it's fine, but, like, from what I've gathered, most of these people are, like, anywhere from iron to gold so therefore elo gains aren't too bad but i had a day where i was at home so i played seven games i played seven games over two days went from zero points d4 to 97 points d4 that last game by the way uh idea of elo gains in diamond four i got fourth and i got plus three because i was at 94 i'm like oh i can come fourth and i can get to diamond three right uh got fourth (laughs) plus three points 97 which is kind of sad and then I lost two games. I got sixth and then eighth in two games and lost all my points. <laughs> oh, my God. 97? Yeah, 97 from two games. Uh, so that's, like, kind of a little bit tilting. It's just sad that you can come into sixth, which doesn't seem like that bad of a placement, and lose, like, 30-something at my ELO, which is a little bit crazy. I understand getting punished for coming eighth, but, like, holy fuck. That eighth game, I usually don't complain about RNG, but at the uh carousel before wolf round i didn't have a level two yeah <laughs> uh so i got fucked a little bit on rg but anyways what i was trying to get at is today i was playing tft a new patch came out today for tft uh and there's two crazy bugs so i came up for my first rank game and there's a bug with pike where if you stack two frozen hearts on him frozen heart applies it slow every single time the unit with the frozen heart enters combat or like enters the vicinity so meaning Pike, a character that jumps in, alts out, then goes back in, applies Frozen Heart two or three times. So the units that he Frozen Hearts have like zero attack speed. So in my first game, five people were abusing that bug, and I got eighth. 
<laughs> and I got demoted. And I'm like, fuck, I'm so mad. I'm demoted to Platinum 1. Uh, so then I abused the bug and got back <laughs> into Diamond 4. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they still haven't hotfixed that. Uh, I hope the hotfix is coming out very soon, because that's a huge bug. And also, there's another bug where a Kali crits every single auto. Uh, so it's a little bit silly. I thought uh, it was she, everything, every single spell. Every single, yeah, her autos don't crit, sorry, but her spells always crit. So, and her base, like, if you even have a level one Akali, she still crits her 800 with her spell, right? So, that's a kind of a big bug. Uh, so, I hope they fix those, because those, those probably shouldn't be shipped out like that. There's also a ton of bugs with, like, sorcerer bonus goes away when, like, a sorcerer dies. There's a bug where they change how void works. We'll get into that in the patch notes. Uh, where the old void bonus, which is completely not in the game anymore, is still applying. <laughs> so like I don't know it feels like they're just not putting that hard of like testing into like their stuff or not like taking feedback from players or something like that because there was like a ton of bugs today and it was kind of sad um, and then outside of League I know I'm kind of going on a lot but I, locked, but I played a lot uh, I actually watched a fucked amount of anime <laughs> this week yeah I was looking at that you're you wild out dude yeah so we finished Jojo all of us right which yeah, was awesome yeah that was pog it, Jojo is so fucking good, dude. I'm actually so I'm I hope they do Stone Ocean very 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 soon cuz I I can't wait anymore. Um so I finished up Stone Ocean. I started watching jo uh David Productions new Fire Force, which is fucking awesome. It's so cool. I finished Flying Witch like 2 weeks ago. I finished finished World in Colors like 2 weeks ago. I finished Gurren Logan uh like this past week. Uh and then yesterday I watched all of Anohana. Uh, which is only like 10 episodes, but still, I watched that like four during the day, then a couple at night sort of thing, and then a couple like when I was in bed. <laughs> Finished that. Uh, so I'm just like looking for more, an more anime to watch because I at some point want to watch Naruto, like all of it, all like... Oh, no, 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 no. If I cut out all the filler, it's still like 400 and something episodes, I believe. <laughs> it's long. But I, I, feel like it, I feel like it's actually not that bad. But like I, not, I, no, I would no, rather I, watch short shows. <laughs> <laughs> you can so watch I've, like, like uh, are you got Nekio. I was just gonna say I've watched a lot of Naruto. Like, it's not worth it. In my but there's opinion. high highs, dude. There, 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 there are some there are really high highs. Sure, hype yeah. moments that I'm happy I saw like when I was watching it as it came out, and then I went back and I tried to like watch the rest of it from when I stopped watching it on TV, and I got to episode like 200, I think. Couldn't do it, man. Couldn't. Yeah. Do it. See, all right. What you should do is like watch up to the pain fight, and then yeah. you can stop. Because I think that's I think that's like the self the self fight of of Naruto. Okay, maybe. Like, there's stuff after it. It's just not as good. <laughs> I also Either tried I... at one point to watch fucking One Piece. Yeah. That's a never now. I got about three hundred episodes into that. <laughs> Only, mm -hmm. Almost a quarter of the way. So I think at least until I find other anime. So if you have any anime suggestions, please like at me on Twitter or like come into our Discord and post well, in our anime Aiden, section. Or... I'm I'm currently watching Mob Psycho 100. Yeah, uh, I heard it's... Mob Psycho 100 was fucking awesome. Yeah, uh, Jeff Jeff Thu uh, or Mother's Basement, if you know him by that moniker, he splooges all over that show, and for good reason. It's real fun. Um, and I also did yeah. just finish my rewatch of Overlord. So, mm -hmm. have you seen Overlord? Overlord's so, pretty short too, right? Yeah, Overlord's yeah, there's like three seasons, seasons though. Have you seen um uh when I got reincarnated as a slime? I was thinking about watching that. You'd, I just feel like, like it's going to go on forever. I just know it like I I don't really want shows that don't have a definite end, right? Is the problem? Yeah, I guess it seems like it will probably go on for a bit, but currently it's new, so Yeah. You could watch uh, Cowboy Bebop. I, I, I was also episodes. thinking about watching Cowboy Bebop, uh, Trigun, wa going back and watching Evangelion. I feel like that's oh, the show Trigun's that I want to watch. Trigun's so good. Trigun's so good. Or what I should do is, in reality is finish reading my Land of Lustrous manga, like to catch up on that, and then probably start reading Stone Ocean and uh, yeah. Steel Run. I feel like that's a good use of my time. <laughs> yeah. I'd, uh, read anyways. Through, uh, I'd read through those. Yeah, I, I feel like it's worth it. It, it. Definitely, if we don't get an announcement in the next like month or two, <laughs> I might start. I mean, I doubt we're going to, but... Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, so that's kind of my week. Uh, a lot of anime, lots of games. Actually played a good amount of League. Uh, what about you, Colton? Um, didn't really play a whole lot of solo queue. Um, did play a few games, and I think got demoted from D2 to D3. Uh, it's, it's a sad fucking life out there when you can go like 10-0 in lane and lose the game. Uh, but hey, I'll see what I can do to climb. 
Uh, aside from that, like you said, we played some threes. I haven't been playing a whole lot of TFT. Um, just because I don't really love the meta right now. And I'd like to see them balance the game more before I jump back into it, like, seriously. Not that I think you need to, like, be really serious to be able to climb there. It's just, like, I don't know. I don't feel good putting time into ranked games in it when you can just get that dicked by RNG based on, like, items or characters you get. Mm -hmm. Um... Aside from that, um, I had a work conference thing, which was pretty fun. Learned learned a lot about uh, like marijuana regulations in Illinois. Now that's going to be legalized at the beginning of next year. <laughs> nice. Hell so yeah. That's, that's a fun thing. Um, other than that, I'm trying to think. Uh, I went sailing with Alex on Lake Michigan. Uh, it was great. He was a wonderful captain who uh, taught me and Rick how to adjust the jib. Uh, we had some, some quality maneuvers towards the end where we were changing the direction of the boat, and it was just, it was a good time out in the sun. Got some vegan food afterwards where we, or at least I got some fake bacon that I was not a fan of. Uh, real bacon, much better. Real bacon, probably S tier food. Fake vegan bacon, D tier. <laughs> um, I'm not that high on bacon. I feel like it's it's like, okay. Mm-hmm. At it's least incredibly overrated. At least it's an A. It, would you at least put it in like A tier, or are you putting bacon in B tier? I like, like crunchy bacon. Yeah, but are you ever gonna have it like by itself? No, like it's a good compliment. Yeah, but I think you. Ha I think it has to like stand on its own. You know. I mean, so I, I don't think that's a very good argument for food. If it needs to be with something to be good. <laughs> Like, I, I think that that's just, like, a subsection of, like, complementary foods, right? Like, it's it's an S-tier side. Okay, then fucking pepper is the best thing in the world, then. best. Yeah, the like world. salt and pepper. I, I love pepper. Favorite Those food. are seasonings. It's, it's salt garbage and pepper, on its own, though. S plus tier. <laughs> those, those are seasonings. I, I feel like seasonings you can make a different argument about, but it's just, like, I don't know, you're never going to have, like, a... Uh, I don't know, like a bun by itself, but yes. you can talk about buns are good because they're good with like burgers and shit. I don't know. Anyway, I don't. I don't want to have that conversation right now. I think the... buns are seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> you think buns are seasoning? Agreed. <laughs> is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> it is. It's a. Uh, hmm. um... Oh God, I learned about this in in my uh, my law class. Yeah. Uh... What did you learn? Something it's a something instrument is mayonnaise. Oh man, it's gonna come to me later in the show. All but right. it's like a way to it's like a way to store money, basically. Like a monetary ah. instrument. Uh, there's a there's a term for it though. It's not monetary instrument. I mean, monetary instrument is definitely a term that I use all the time in my job. Not that. Um, then. It's not, negotiable instrument. Negotiable instrument. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's another. Um, is mayonnaise a negotiable instrument? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, aside from that, uh, like I said, I, uh, finished rewatching Overlord. I'm through the first season of Mob Psycho, which has been real good. Um, but that's, that's pretty well my week. So I guess I'll, I'll hand it over to Nickelodeon. Hell yeah. Hey, How's uh, your week, I, I started a new class this week, which is, uh, basically, I don't know, a class that I've taken earlier this summer semester so that's pretty fun uses the same books too which is nice um we finished jojo part five mm -hmm. uh, we didn't i feel like we haven't talked about it too much but i loved it i thought i thought the ending was super great yeah uh, same. we can't get like too spoilery into it i think um but 10 out of 10 uh show continues to impress if we ever just um, want to like talk about it, we should like we could just record like half an hour thing and just put it up for patrons. Why not, right? Yeah, fuck patrons it. Patrons <laughs> who happen to be interested in, in part yeah, five. I mean, like fuck it. The pay Patreon. It, the the problem with Patreon. I was trying to describe this to someone. Was it feels shitty to put up league content because then you're pulling yeah. it away from the show. That's the problem, mm -hmm. right? But everyone but who's people listening, are in interested in non league content. That's what I mean. Yeah, people are like people yeah. listen to league cast and listen to us because they like league content. But then your Patreon, you can't put up league content because you're taking it away from. I don't know. It's weird. So we'll figure something yeah. out. I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions for our Patreon, let us know. Yeah. <laughs> what would you pay money for? Um, 
I have been playing a ton of Fallout 4. Uh, I wanted to play Fallout 3 because it had a um, there was a uh, Bethesda sale over the weekend, and I was able to pick up the like Fallout 3 and all of the DLC for five dollars, which is pretty sick. Um, but it doesn't work with Windows 10 very well. Um, so I crash like every 15 Aww. to 30 minutes. Yeah. And it's quite disappointing. I got all the way to Megaton before I decided like, no, this isn't for me. So I played, I decided to play Fallout 4 instead cause I had that itch and like, I'm really enjoying it like a lot, like, like more than I remember enjoying it. I, um, finally figured out after, let's see, I played for like an hour today after 60 hours of playing the game, I figured out how to like add crafting mods to weapons okay. which is like a pretty core part of the game mm-hmm. because otherwise you're just searching like for a good rng like i was basically playing it like it was diablo or like path of exile where i have to kill a bunch of enemies to find good weapons but that doesn't like happen a ton of the time um so that's like changed the game for me and now i know how to play i've been picking up junk to to scrap Hell yeah. um so that's pretty exciting uh, and I've been playing a lot of my Smurf, actually. I've been playing some ranked. I've, well, I really enjoy playing Kiana, mm-hmm. uh, and um, I played a Zillion game yesterday, and that character is the easiest champion in the game. Um, you you mispronounced difficult. Ooh, false. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I hit one stun that game mm-hmm. that, like, actually mattered. And the rest of the time, it was just, like, Oh, I, I mean, okay. We happen to have a ha- we happen to have a hack room, mm-hmm. and I happen to just speed them up and then zoom, the zoom. <laughs> like, yeah, that's so. that's always fun when you have someone you can zoom and then like revive them if they go down. Yeah, like I I wanted to play um Kiana because I just like playing that character on that account. Um, but we had like Cled Draven hack room as our hovers, so I was like, we need a little bit of AP. Uh, so he went hacker and I went zillion and then he ran real fast. A uh, special shout out to the enemy team who decided they wanted to race Rift Herald at like 25 minutes, like in a base race. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they lost that one. Uh, we ended up yeah. taking, Harold took all of the bot lane and then ended the game. Like and that's we that's took what their... you should get out of every herald use, according to Nick. Cooper no, 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 no. Right I'm now. not saying every single herald use, but Aiden pointed out to me this weekend. Echo, what was it, Echo Fox? Yeah, Echo. No, took Clutch herald, versus CLG. Yeah. Took herald, dropped a top lane, got half of a turret with zero plates. Right. <laughs> yeah, was <it> like <laughs> I don't. I don't think it's OP. I'll. 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 I'll admit that I was wrong. I will I will die on the hill that no one in the world knows how to use it properly. Except for you, who got five towers, an inhibitor, and a nexus. <laughs> okay, right. that was less like us knowing how to use it properly, and the enemy team decided to... They basically, like, FF'd. All right, guys, get into gold section. <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't get at least three towers every time you summon Herald, you're doing something wrong. No, but, like, okay, I think baseline for Herald, one turret. Yeah. Like, at the... Or... or one plates. turret or like three, four plates. Yeah, like if you can't get a, a turret off of it, you, like or some plates, you misused it. Mm-hmm. But I agree. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, so let's get into the rising news. Colton, you want to tell us about this tournament? Yeah. So uh, our buddy, or my buddy, I guess, good guy Knox, uh, friend of the show, he did a, a joint tournament with us about a month and a half ago, two months. Um, he's doing another tournament. I believe it's a 1v1 tourney coming up. Um, I will be uh, co-casting with him. Uh, so he's posting about that in his Discord. I will probably also make a post about it here in ours. Just the link over there so you guys can check it out. Sign up if you'd like to. And uh, just, just figured I'd promote that since uh, he did that joint tournament with us. And he made a really sick intro. So just shout out to my boy, I suppose. That's kind of all the news i have for that but uh, look out for that in discord if you are interested in playing it's going to be this saturday the third um around i think like three or four in the afternoon nice oh wait this saturday mm-hmm. oh you're you're doing it during evo my dude oh i forgot that that was this weekend and i'm very excited we aren't even there 
Yeah. Last minute trip. Go, wanna, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to go? I thought about it in the shower. Is like how how wild it, would it be if I just like booked a plane ticket? I was for literally two thinking about that now? today. Nick. We could <laughs> honestly I'm like, if we shared a room fun. in Vegas. <laughs> Uh, I don't think so. No, we can I'm not talk about that after the show. We can talk about that after the show. After reconsidering, no. <laughs> like five hundred dollars for a flight. Oh uh, no. Yeah, but um, I'm super excited. I I fucking love Evo, mm-hmm. so I'm gonna be glued to that. Playing Fallout, watching Evo. It'll be nice. Yeah, um, that's uh, that's it hey, for that news. But we've got plenty more. Well, what's going yeah, next? next up. Fiddlesticks and Volley Bear rework uh, uh, update was given. Uh, essentially, they gave out some artwork, um, which they all look super cool. Like, mm-hmm. I think Volley Bear is going to be one of the coolest champions in the game after this. Uh, like, at least design wise, I don't. I'm, mm-hmm. He. They don't mention a lot about his kit. Uh, what they do mention is that um, they're thinking of having his passive negate. Well, let me let me let me not say negate. Um, convert all hard cc into a slow so he could not be stunned or rooted or snared or anything like that they would all just become slows of varying intensity so Hmm. pretty strong i imagine like uh swifty unflinching zillion volley bear would be a nightmare to play against phase (laughs) rash Maybe phase rush, yeah. But the only thing is, like, it's hard to proc it unless you're on them, you know? But super sick. And then for Fiddlesticks, they said they wanted to make him, like, actually surprising. So a lot of people and on Reddit were, were throwing out. Yeah, yeah. We're throwing out ideas of, like, okay, when there's a Fiddlesticks in the game, there's going to be Scarecrows, like, uh, along the, like, in the map somewhere, similar to, like, Skarner Pillars. And when mm-hmm. you're stationary next to them, you get, like, invisibility. Or something like that. Or camouflage, Ooh. you know? Which would be super sick. That'd be uh, and that's pretty much all they said. Um, I think that's pretty exciting. Um, I guess uh, we should... So the Pantheon rework is live. Speaking of, of uh, reworking champions. Not mm-hmm. live, I'm sorry. Is live on the PBE, actually, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's live on the PBE. Uh, essentially, his Q... We're just going to do like a quick rundown. Yeah. Um, his passive... When he gets five stacks, he can empower uh, any of his abilities, any of his basic abilities, um, and he gets a stack for using a spell or auto-attacking. His Q um, is a charge-up sort of skill shot, kind of like Pike, except it just does damage. Uh, I'm not sure if it stops on the first unit hit or if it goes through all the way, like, through champions and stuff. I'm not sure either. Yeah, but... um, uh, oh, Okay, best mate Australia in our... Uh, on our Discord chat, I was saying it goes through everything, so that's that's cool. Uh, and then I think the empowered form functions as an as an execute, so it scales with missing HP. Mm-hmm. Uh, his W is kind of the same thing: you jump, you stun, uh, you do get a free auto attack afterwards, and that auto attack becomes three auto attacks while it is empowered. Uh, they do a little bit of reduced damage. His E, however, it's kind of the same thing: uh, you, you get those little strikes in front of you. Um, however, you can't be damaged f- from the direction your shield is facing while you're channeling your E, mm-hmm. which, uh, a lot of people, I think if that mechanic were tied to certainly T outrage yeah. fires in the streets, <laughs> like, but since it's not, Oh, that's cool. It's a cool, unique mechanic. I mean, um, the, the, yeah. I, to, like to justify that a little bit, Nick, I think the general consensus is that. Six months down the road, if something is removed from Pantheon's kit, it's the invulnerability. Like, uh, yeah, I mean for sure, it it should just be damage reduction, right? Yeah, probably. But <laughs> maybe they want to maybe they want to push this first where it's too strong, so that that way they can you know tone it down. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then I think uh, the last strike of it does bonus damage. Yeah, the last strike. I believe that's the empowered version. Is the last oh, strike okay. will do bonus damage, um, and then his ultimate. Oh, his ultimate's so cool. Uh, yeah. So you kind of channel the same way as before, except you come in at, like, an angled slide, and you deal damage to everyone in the slide. I don't... Re- like, the best way to describe it was... Um, oh, was, uh, like, Arthas's ult from Heroes of the Storm. 
yeah. where he summons the dragon and it like does damage, you know, in a in a line. Mm-hmm. Except you're that. It's like, like the width the of a uh, Maokai ult, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's like the width of a lane, honestly. Mm-hmm. So super sick. Looks super cool. Uh, I think in the lore they already like they killed him. Yeah. Or they killed the god that was residing in him. <laughs> All the splash art cool. looks so fucking cool, though. Like, yeah. every single skin looks cool. Did you see Perseus? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sick. I'm, um, I'm excited, though. Yeah. So, yeah, more to come on that funny. as it develops and he become, goes live. I'm sure there'll be some tweaks before they push him to to live matchmaking servers. For sure. <laughs> uh, then we have some game modes. So, Teamfight Tactics uh, is going to become permanent. Um, I don't know... Yeah, I don't know if they have a timeline for that. It doesn't look like it. Um, but soon. Typically, once they put in a ranked queue, it's going to be a permanent game mode. Typically. <laughs> Liter- literally, the reason why they didn't say it was permanent from the very beginning was just in case no one plays it, so they don't have to go, oh, yeah. we're removing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, all random Earth Plus. Uh, you can expect some form of Earth will be back at least once this year. Uh, Nexus Splits. Um, we'll be back a couple times a year, quote, couple times a year. Uh, ARAM, uh, they will continue to balance ARAM every, every few patches with bigger changes once a year. And then, uh, the biggest news, uh, that they're going to be developing other game modes and, um, can I kind of like look out for that and it'll be pretty cool. So they also mentioned pretty much it. They, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> funny i i do before we get into twisted tree line though uh sure. they did mention that like you know game modes like odyssey or um what was the one before it uh the the, the spear the skirt or the girly dark uh, oh star, star guardian star, star guardian. guardian dark so, uh, yeah th- those ones i feel like they're gonna make less of those because they don't ha- they don't have like as much player retention which i mean it makes sense that they don't have player retention they're like you beat it for a goal and then you move on but they yeah. said they're gonna focus less on those because they just don't have as big of a payoff which is kind of sad i really like them i just feel like they are probably a lot of work for what they get out of it i guess yeah i mean i think odyssey is a good example like no one played that i no one in our friend group played it because it was fun like it didn't become the main queue mm-hmm. where something like ARAM or Nexus Splits could fill that role. Like sometimes mm-hmm. we played it because of the rewards, right? We, it was fun to grind for those though. Yeah, sure. We didn't do anything until someone figured out like, Oh, you can just go five jinx and then empower our ulti. Mm-hmm. Like, but I don't know. It's, it's not something that is like sustainable, I guess. Yeah. So I'm fine with them making fewer of, of them. I, I would like to see at least like one a year. You know, I'd be, be fine. I'd be totally fine if they like scaled it back because they've come out pretty polished and like deep. I, I guess is the way I want to say it. Where like, if they just made it like interesting things, like using the assets of the game currently, I'd be totally fine with it. Because I, I think it's been really fun. Like the first few times you play, it, you're figuring it out and you're learning the mode, and then after that, pretty quickly, it's just like I just want to like get to the end content, get my prize and move on. So like just don't don't put as much into it. Like it's going to be a quick thing that people are going to play for like a few weeks and then drop it, you know. Build it with that in mind. Don't don't dedicate as much resources to it. I don't think it's necessary. Um hmm. yeah, I agree. And then obviously the big news being Twisted Dream yeah. Line, uh which they're getting rid of at the end of the year. Or the end of the season, I guess. Uh, they're just finishing up the ranked season for it, and they're getting rid of it. It just doesn't have the player base. Is the reality of it? They're not going to have a uh, TFT, uh, sorry, TFT, a Twisted Tree Line uh, specific chroma this year because like no one plays it, which is fair. Uh, and then they're doing like rewards for like the three v three enthusiasts. Uh, so I'm I'm wondering if I actually qualify for those. It depends on when like they base the games off of. If they do it only this year, Nick, I probably don't. Even though I probably play a gross percentage more 3v3 than the average player. I feel like the average player plays zero games a year. Uh, I probably play like 100 usually a year. But if they take it from like all time, dude, I used to play 3v3 all the... It was my main game mode until like season two. Yeah, I used to play yeah. a lot of 3v3 back in the day as well. So I don't I, I don't know what, what the criteria are. Have they announced that at all? 
they just said that they're uh, based on like from t- uh, before today, so like you can't cheese out like however many games. So I'm assuming it'll probably just be based on uh, the season's games, something like that. But we'll mm-hmm. see. Either I way, think it, I, I think there's a good chance you get it. I don't think I will, but mm-hmm. yeah, I'm just glad that people who actually enjoy the game mode are getting something though. Like good for them. It probably sucks that your game mode's being removed. That being said, there's almost no one who actually plays the game, and I'm gonna get really tired of everyone saying that they love three v three. Uh, real quick yeah. right yeah there's so many people are gonna go up in fucking arms about this and then you could like look at their accounts just like when was the last time you played twisted tree line like august of 2013 mm-hmm. it, it's yeah i don't know the one thing that i can say that i really really hope happens since this is going off is that yeah. some of the unique items on that map i would love to see in either other game modes or maybe brought to the rift um mm-hmm. and even more so and Aiden you and I were talking about this give <laughs> us fucking vile maw yeah vile maw's the coolest pve in the game i think it'd be cool if like they i don't i know they won't do it nick but like if they made it so vile maw could spawn in dragon pit as like one of the dragons like yeah. or something they'd have to give like a different reward but yeah but i just feel like vile maw is probably i think vile maw is way cooler than baron or dragon like at the moment. What if they just what if they just like tunneled it into top lane, like in the very corner of the map? <laughs> just Viamaw's just chilling up there. Yeah. Or like And it like spawns it... at like 25, 30 minutes. Put it in normal put it in a uh, normal games during Halloween events. I'm sorry, yeah. harrowing events. Okay. We could do that. Also I I just linked the uh, place the Baron for harrowing events. Uh play rate uh for different queues by region. And looking at 3v3, it's actually sad. Like, the percentage of people who play that. There are more people who play custom games than <laughs> Twisted Tree Line, possibly total. Literally, uh, the, it's close. Uh-huh. <laughs> the only server that people even, like, t- fucking Twist- Twisted Tree Line isn't played at all on Korea. <laughs> it's, mm-hmm. like, only played by <laughs> for fun region. No one plays it. No one, no one plays the normals in in the other region that they measured. Yeah, it's crazy though. It's just no one plays it, and I feel like it's gonna be. There's gonna be people. You already saw a post. I think I saw a post on the top right. I think you were mentioning it, Nick, where someone mm-hmm. was like, "the The only reason TFT, I mean, no one plays Twisted Tree. I keep saying TFT. The only reason no one plays Twisted Tree Line is because they didn't put any work into it, which is true to some extent, right? If they kept working the mode, more people would play it. But it would never have a sizable enough player base to like justify it, I think. But they mentioned it's not even like even when they did make huge changes to it, it still didn't mm-hmm. see a, a drastic increase. Yeah. So like I don't even know if that's the case. I think it's kind of just I don't know. Maybe it has the stigma around it forever that they like that it can't get rid of. Mm-hmm. Um I'm fine with them removing it. I think it probably should have happened earlier. Um, now with that do you think that the idea of three ranked queues is going to just be, hey, you have TFT now? Or do you think they're going to introduce something other than flex and solo duo? So they they did mention that, um, at least this year, that TFT was not going to have any chroma associated with mm-hmm. it. I believe in the TFT patch. Yeah, um, and I don't, I don't think there should be a, a chroma. I think, if anything, you can get like a little legend. I think that'd be the way to do that. Is like you get a little, a little legend for placing gold or higher. Um, in in yeah, TFT. I mean you should get you should get rewards for the for the role that you play in, or for the mm-hmm. uh, queue for the that you play. Yeah. That being said, so do we think we're gonna see another ranked queue? Like, what if they put in like ranked yeah. ARAM or like ranked one v one? Like, do you think that'll happen in the next so, year or two? I would like if they put in ranked ARAM personally. Mm. Right, I think that could be fun. I don't think there's any downside to putting in ranked ARAM. Is the well, main I mean, thing. I like we play ARAMs for fun, right? It's not like we're going in there trying to win. I know, like, but it'd be fun to like. It would be like a flex queue, right? There's no way it'd be like, like it'd just be one queue. You could queue with any as many people yeah. as you want. Yeah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be a serious ladder, but it would be fun. I think. But to play, a like more that's the thing is like, people are going to take it seriously. I mean, you add Earth into the game, and people immediately pick the best characters like every time yeah yeah but i mean you take it seriously and ranked but then you still have your normal queue i don't think it takes anything away from that 
Like, I just feel like it would be another fun game mode. I feel like it would be fun just to go, oh, shit, the boys are on? Let's queue ranked A, right? <laughs> and if anything, that like, it'll separate those player bases so that when you want to play your for fun normal, those people that are taking the game more seriously won't be there because they're in the ranked. Mm-hmm. But I think that's, like, part of the problem of Twisted Tree Line is that it did split that queue. Like, and, and you did get an already, like, low player base split up even further. I guess, but I, like... I I definitely think there are pros to it. Like it would be it would be fun to play like a full squad doing ranked A rims, but I also don't think like it should have it. I guess I don't know. I just feel like one v one rank queue. I just feel like we'd have like we played the A rim tournament, and I feel like we actually tried really hard in that for the most part. Like we went pretty meta like stuff. Like oh, we're gonna build ZZ rods this game because they have range, we have melee sort of thing. I feel like that would be fun as fuck to play. And I feel like doing that in a non-ranked queue, like, if we just queued up for a normal ARAM and did that, it would just be degenerate. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Either way, I'm happy they're removing TF, I mean, Twisted Tree Line. It just, like, takes resources, like, away from their actual development of the real game. So, it's good, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. Um, hey, there are Honor 5 Chromas. I believe it's for Grey Warwick and Medieval Twitch. Yeah. So, it's going to be cool websites like you can bluish. get. Uh, my yeah. favorite thing about reading the comments on that was people pissed that you can't get both. <laughs> like, it's free you... stuff. I know. <laughs> <laughs> fucking wild. <laughs> we can't get both of them? God damn it. Fucking get the other one next year. Like, it's actually yeah, crazy how entitled people are. <laughs> pick your favorite, you little furry degenerate. Yeah. Uh, and then we're on to the patch, which is Yeah, let's talk about the patch. Uh, 915. Uh, so they already have reverted something that happened in the patch uh where they're gonna remove the legacy cursor uh but then they changed it because people got very upset i saw more than a handful of comments of people saying i will literally quit the game if the legacy (laughs) cursor is removed so like to play devil's advocate to some degree like i'm definitely not the fucking devil here um but i don't understand why they would remove it is the main thing it okay so i saw two like things one is that each game has like a, a, a data limit basically and by having two cursors however small it may be that four limit is like wait, yes that was like not something that i like hey maybe the way it's coded that they coded you know a decade ago makes it to where it's more than that mm-hmm. um alternatively they add things into the game like Kiana, where your cursor will change colors based on mm-hmm. the terrain that you're hovering over, and that functionality doesn't exist in Legacy Cursor. If no, I... they add, like, if they add that functionality to Legacy Cursor, it takes resources, even if it's an hour. Like that shouldn't be there, I guess. Mm-hmm. And if it doesn't get added, then we see the I'm being hindered because I have I prefer the Legacy Cursor. Add this to the game. No, yeah. I th- I think in the future they w- will still remove it. I do think it's more the Kiana thing, honestly. I think we had a, a small little discussion about it saying that, like, mm-hmm. it's just, like, an updated cursor with, like, newer tech. I don't see why you need to use the old one other than the nostalgia sort of thing. But that being mm-hmm. said, without them co- straight up coming out and saying, hey, we're doing this because we want to develop characters that the cursor can actually tell you stuff, it's just weird to just remove it, I guess, is, like, the yeah. problem. Uh, so hopefully they do eventually come out and say hey we're planning on doing this release some statistics like x number of people actually use the cursor or whatever i ran a poll on our twitter uh yesterday uh mm-hmm. to see how many people use legacy cursor and updated cursor we got 30 votes on it it was actually 16 to 14 for updated cursor wow. so it was actually way closer than i expected um but still it's just i would like to see some uh, like riot stats from it i would like to see them give us a reason i i don't personally mm-hmm. use uh updated cur- i mean the legacy cursor i don't see why you'd want to so i i saw the most uh, cited reason being they can't people can't track the legacy uh, sorry the updated cursor as well as the old one like they just can't figure it out i feel like that's just cuz they haven't played with it enough but um yeah i mean either way <laughs> yeah but th- i feel like this sort of like outrage happens with everything do you remember when they changed the font or like when they changed the scoreboard Mm -hmm. and people were thinking it was the worst thing ever and now like hey zero comments nothing 
no, there's sometimes where, as a company, you just have to, like, buckle down or just go, nope, we're doing this. <laughs> like, yeah. Hey. We'll see. Um, yeah. So, uh, we got some champion changes. Evelyn, her clear was too strong, so the Q cooldown refund on monsters has been decreased, so it'll take longer for her to Q to come back up. Got some gal. Trevor. Got some <laughs> got some Galio buffs uh, <laughs> where his passive cooldown scales with CDR and his damage is increased and his E uh, damage is increased. So his passive uh, buffs and then E buffs. Uh, that's kind of nice. I still don't think he's a good character, but I'm telling you, QE no points in W Galio. <laughs> it's awful. You play him yeah, as yeah. a mage. <laughs> you play him as an assassin. Graves, uh, you get more armor per stack of your E, so just give me him a little bit more defensive strength uh, to get you through your early clears and your dueling. So that's nice. So I saw a good reason why this wasn't a good buff, because he doesn't take any damage anyway. Like, right? From, mm -hmm. from jungle camps, because he has the knockback. I this basically functions like with brawling early where a lot of junglers are attack damage focused, but it's not mm -hmm. going to bring him out of the base, the, the gutter. I mean, still like in a team fight, like he'll probably stack it to like three so he can get an extra 12 armor or whatever in a fight, which I think is fair. Uh, it's not a big enough buff to make him like he's, he's one of the, he's probably like competitively looking. Uh, in solo queue, I think this buff actually does help a little bit. In competitive, I still think he's like a little bit too far away from being competitively viable. I think he needs some actual damage buffs, which we originally saw in the PBE, but they didn't go live. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think this might help him out a little bit, but they don't. Yeah, I definitely don't think they like push him over the edge right now for at least your competitive play. Yeah. Uh, uh, Karma empowered E shield is decreased. Get cool. out of here. They're still nerfing her <laughs> at this point, Nick. That this tells me like. She was OP before they gave her buffs, and people just weren't playing her. You know what I mean? Like a sleeper yeah. pick, and then... I was. But you know what I mean? Like, there's lots of those picks where the character was obviously good before, but then they get buffs because they weren't played, and they're, like, f fucked. And you revert those buffs, and they're still fucked because the character was right? still OP. Right? It says they do that. Like, I think yeah. in, in a couple comments, they do, like, some buffs to... Some tiny little buffs, tiny little, you know, changes to remind everyone, hey, this character's... Oh, this is a character, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> we know that this character is too strong because our supercomputer told us so. We're going to buff them so that people play it, and then everyone will get mad, and then we can nerf it back down. Kha'Zix is getting a buff to his Q damage, which is nice. I don't think it matters enough, personally. It's doubled isolated, though, which is kind of nice. I think the reason why Kha'Zix isn't good is because he clears single target camps very well, but he doesn't clear AoE camps very well until like later in the game, and the best two mm -hmm. camps in the game are Krugs and uh, uh, Raptors, so I feel like yeah. just some characters benefit super hard from that uh, AXP being so lopsided, and some characters yeah, don't. Yeah, they need to balance the jungle camps. It's terrible. Like, yep. not a fan of it at all. I, I, I hate that literally you're like shooting yourself in the foot if you don't take a character that's AOE based. Yeah. Right, like, you, you just shouldn't. It's just a bad decision to pick non-AOE clear characters. Whereas before, that was the decision you could make. You could say, hey, this character is going to clear my buffs really fast. I can take a Gromp. I can fight Scuttles and duel. No, no, if you can't take Raptors and Krugs efficiently, you'd lose. You just do. But I'll have you know, Colton, when I play on my... Uh, bronze account and I only play Vayne Jungle on that account, I only clear my single target <laughs> camps and I do just fine. You counter jungle your AoE camps. <laughs> I did do that. I counter jungle yeah, my better. raptor camp because I was getting <laughs> jungle. I was getting counter jungle. Uh, I don't think that's a bad play. No, I don't think so either. You force them to reset it and then you can just like clear the camp again, counter jungle yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's massive brain that's six head dude <laughs> yeah uh cool um leblanc up next is... we have leblanc oh yeah. sorry i was <laughs> i was getting there i just had to scroll uh her e base root damage is increased so that's the Pog. first no it's the root actual root okay mm -hmm. uh at least in q base damage is increased free it's five at level one it's it's nothing. It means nothing. Oh, it's five at all ranks. Yeah, it's like it a means nothing. But this is this is one of the hey, we're slightly buffing him to remind you to pick him. Yeah, I'm so, fine with it though. I'm so yeah. fine with it. Like, no, he doesn't need more damage. We need Lee Senate Worlds. 
he, I don't know. I, I want I want Sejuani only. Sejuani for both teams. I don't think he needed <laughs> it, but I think that this is like a way to go about it. That's my, that I'm way more okay with. It's just like okay, we're just gonna add five. See how it goes. Like <laughs> Nick, I. <laughs> I want the world patch. Just to say, hey, we've added a second Sejuani to the game. <laughs> you can't ban Sejuani. You must pick Sejuani. <laughs> if Sejuani is not banned, you automatically lock it in. Oh, Christ. Um, Lissandra, some changes. Her base health and her health growth is, in- growth is increased. Uh, her RAP ratio is increased. I don't think it matters. I don't think those change her enough. I think she's being like fringe picked by a couple mid laners like Froggen and stuff. Um, but other than like people like him, I don't think she's that good. <laughs> but he, she just, she's still a good pick for setting up your jungler, right? So if you have a carry jungler, she's still a pretty good. Yeah, I, th- I think it's solo queue, especially are you playing like games with your friends or you're doing a jungle yeah. mid i feel like she's one of the best just you click on them and then your jungler can come in and gank with no matter what jungler mm-hmm. he's playing yeah nice lucian save. lucian <laughs> lucian i mean it's uh colton's turn Is lucian, it our already? base oh. damage increased later yeah usually all right so usually <laughs> i say one mm-hmm, and then aiden mm-hmm. will say one and then you get to say one. i'm That's sorry i just don't turn. i don't pay attention when you're talking only when he I'm takes the usual format of nick me nick colton me nick colton nick me nick me colton that's the format he usually goes <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> that is on the schedule i apologize yeah yeah um, right so below some, to some buffs to lucian's mid and late game we'll move on to malphite uh, Q slow is increased. W base cleave damage increased. You coming? Why He's the fuck the did they change his ult? That's the worst ult change I've ever seen in my life. His u- yeah. ult- ultimate now casts at max range if you use it outside of max range. That's like yeah, quote bug fix. It's a. It's actually <laughs> just so. Well, I mean, it's in a. It's a bug fix in the fact that half the abilities in the game work like that and half them don't. Mm-hmm. For example, Annie, Annie, Annie's cast at max. No, Annie's. She'll I think still Annie's walk. used. I don't. I don't know. She'll walk, I have no idea. You can click it, and then you can flash. I know that. You'll like start walking towards them, then you can flash, and it'll immediately cast. Um, but it's like, ha- it's just so much worse for a character like Malphite. You want to like just only be able to cast within uh, your range, on or you want to walk there. Sorry, but you know what I mean. It's dumb. Bad change. Uh, Poppy though, they you keep buffing her. They increase her movement speed on her W this patch. I don't know if she needs more buffs. I feel like at this point she's not going to be seen. She got played once in LCS this week. Um, I think she's going to start start being played in support. Yeah. Espe- yeah, I feel like a lot of support champions have very like. It's not the right word for it, but like very long wind ups on their dashes. Mm-hmm. Like Alistair combo, you can see that coming and react to it pretty. Like, pretty easily. Or, like, Thresh, Leona. You know, those aren't hard things to to W. Or someone like uh, Perks who plays bottom Yasuo, like, all the time, right? Like, Poppy support mm-hmm. would be fucking crazy into Yasuo, I think. Yeah, but on the contrary, someone like Riven, like, a lot harder to see, to know, like, to be able to block her E, for mm-hmm. for, for instance. That's fair. So, yeah, I wonder if she will get picked up in, in the support role for that. Mm-hmm. Again, I guess. Yeah. Uh, sure. Kiana... Her E no longer damages targets outside of its range. The ultimate cooldown now scales. Uh, the health packs in ARAM will now grant her uh, her river enchant. Yay! So I think her E is more of a bug fix or like kind of like an ability like bringing in line sort of change as opposed to an actual nerf. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm, I'm like happy with these. I'm happy with these changes. I think she's OP, but... I think the hitbox on her stun is actually the most wild thing in the game. <laughs> yeah. There is like there are times when I feel like my my the tip of my elbow is in that but stunned. Killed. Mm-hmm. Uh up next we have Rumble. His W shield value is going to be decreased, uh both for regular and empowered. I don't know why. That's probably good. What who who picks Rumble though? Well, wasn't mid he seeing Rumble. some play? Wasn't he seeing some play this? Like he was this seeing patch? some mid play, uh, sometimes. <laughs> but like, well, I mean, so his W shield at max rank is what six seconds? Yeah, no, it's it's like three. Oh, you mean the cooldown? I thought you meant the time, the yeah, duration I'm sorry, of the shield. The cooldown. No, 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 no. The cooldown. The yeah, cooldown is like long. six seconds at max yeah, rank. Yeah. It probably. I mean, 
I don't I think, think they're bringing that line a little bit. I just don't think he's OP. I feel like he there's other characters they need to fix instead of Rumble. Like yeah, it's just silly. Yeah. Um, Soraka's Q base damage is being increased. I actually think it's a good change to be honest. Yeah, sure. Um, Swain, Pog, Q range reverted to pre nine fourteen range. I actually he's like coming, dude. Their notes though that. Like, because you'd hit your E and then pull them in, sometimes you'd miss because it was, like, too far away. Mm -hmm. That's probably, like, a nice quality of life. Even though it's a huge buff, it's also, like, quality of life, I think. Yeah, it was, like, it was, like, that one, what was it? It was, like, I want to say it wasn't, it was longer than a patch, but, like, shorter than a season. Where Diana's Q was longer range than her ulti. Mm -hmm. So you could hit the Q on someone and not be able to ult them. (laughs) Yeah, that's silly. (laughs) But... Yeah, nice change. Swain, Swain's good. Up next, we have Syndra. Her ultimate damage per sphere is going up on the second and third rank in the ability. Mm-hmm. Pog. One shot me. <laughs> um, Vayne, everyone is fucking <laughs> crying over these changes. <laughs> yeah. I So every single week, they, they like, I don't know why the fuck they do this. It just gets people riled up every single week. Probably for that reason. Like, you get people riled up and they talk about it. Right. Rand- Random Rider 107 tweets <laughs> on tweets, Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Twitter is their communication tool <laughs> to the world. Tweets, hey, we're buffing these characters and nerfing these characters. And people go, you're buffing Vayne? And then everyone <laughs> freaks out. And uh, yeah, they buffed her Condemn, so her Condemn does more damage. <laughs> like, Pog, it does 50% more damage, and the damage is applied instantly. But it's like, if holy you hit fuck. him onto a wall. Yeah, yeah, only if you hit them onto the wall. <laughs> like, like, it's actually Whoa. insanity, like, that people get so upset. Like, they, they get unreasonably upset just seeing that Vayne's being buffed. Yeah. Uh, finally, Zareth. His R range is flattened. Pog. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, victory defeat banners. There are new va- banners. Yeah, new animations. Uh, People Cursor apparently hate them. Red Lefty. <laughs> 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 yeah, sorry, Colton. Uh, Legacy Cursor, we talked about that. We got some bug fixes. None um, of them are that cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think anything. The skins, though. The skins are cool as fuck. Yeah. yeah. Project Pike, Irelia, Jinx, Akali, Warwick, and... Project Aurelia Prestige Edition. I think it's one of their best prestige skins I think they've ever made. Yeah, a lot of people were saying, like, this is the one. Mm-hmm. It's good. So, cool. Patch 915. You guys yeah. want to tell me about the TFT patch? Yeah, I'll tell you about it. Uh, so let's go like through it quickly, because who cares? We're not a fucking TFT podcast. Uh, Yet. One. They made win streaks and lost streaks easier to obtain. I actually think this is a huge buff to lost streaks more than anything because yeah. you, before you'd have to lose like seven rounds in a row to get your <laughs> max lost streak or or you'd have to lose eight rounds in a row to get mass lo- max lost streak. You'd be dead by that point. <laughs> like You'd just be in the dirt, right? It just wasn't mm-hmm. efficient ever to lost streak. So now it's a little bit more efficient to lost streak, which, I, which is good. This is in combination with... Um, the fact that you now take less damage from units overall, like the games probably last an extra five ish minutes on average, I would say from what I've played. So the usually most players are dying, starting to die around like after Raptors now, or before you'd see the first player die, like before wolves almost. Uh, so I think it's kind of a nice change to the game, help you uh, not get demoed, not have to like hard try or hard level for win streaks at the beginning of the game. It's really, really nice. They added some more uh... class. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to move in and say the next thing uh, about... Oh, I was just going to run through it really quickly. Cause... Okay, you got it then. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, um, so class breakpoints they've added to the game. So this is kind of in preparation to add more characters to the game. For example, they upped Gunslingers to have an extra bonus at um, 6, Brawlers to have an extra bonus at 6, Shapeshifters to, shape to have an extra bonus at 6, Blade Master to have an extra bonus at 9. There's only 7 Blade Masters in the game, so obviously it's hard to obtain right now, but when they add more characters, it will be easier to obtain. It's kind of cool. Um, next thing is that they nerfed assassins. They nerfed demons. Demons are actually really, really bad right now. Uh, they made dragons uh, take 83% magic damage. I'm uh, sorry, 83% reduced magic damage instead of 100, which is, thank fucking God, those uh, tank Shivanicoms made me want to <laughs> die. <laughs> like, just bad for the game. Yeah. Um, uh, 
Guardians got a huge buff. I think Guardians are like super, super meta. Knights got a huge buff. N running Knights Guardian, you time everyone out in the game. You just take no damage. <laughs> it's actually yeah. so gross. Ninjas got a pretty big nerf to the mo for the most part. Nobles got a weird change. So Nobles used to give you uh, 100 armor and 35 life on hit. Now they're 60 armor and MR and 35 life on hit. So they're weaker mm. early game, but like, I guess they transition more into late game now right because when people actually get like spell casters and stuff so i think overall it's, all, overall it's a good change uh pirates got small buffs to them void completely got reworked before void used to ignore 50 percent of armor now the void units themselves do true damage <laughs> which wow pretty well there's two builds to go with it from uh if you guys want to try it one is going carry chogath because then you just put, like, AP items on it, and when he ults, he just hits everyone for, like, 1,500 <laughs> in his big AoE, Jesus. which is pretty gross. Uh, or the other one, which I've seen, I've only seen, like, videos of, I've never seen someone do it in game, is you make carry cast it in, you put infinity edge on him and, like, attack speed items, and when he crits, he crits for 800 true damage. <laughs> wow. Uh, so I haven't seen anyone really do that, uh, but it sounds pretty good to me, I think. Yordle's huh. got a nerf, which is needed. Um, bunch of like small little uh, character changes. Karthas might be the best five cost unit in the game now. They upped his alt damage by like a lot, and now it hits up to thirteen units at max rank. Uh, wow. Why do you need to hit thirteen units when the max units you can have in the game is nine plus like uh, force of nature's? I don't plus know. Force of nature, <laughs> but <laughs> that's fine. I think I think the justification is probably Elise and Elementals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. It's just funny, though. I, I think the bigger buff is the fact that at rank 2, which you'll probably, you can actually get as Karthus, so you know what you're hitting, like, rank 3s on, like, the tier 5 mm -hmm. units. Uh, he hits 9, which is the max number of units for a nice. player. Uh, really, really cool. They nerfed the shit out of Locket, nerfed Ionic Spark, nerfed, nerfed Hush, and nerfed Static Shiv. All those were needed. I hope they are trying to transition into a less item-focused game. I feel like that would be an easier game to balance, so maybe that's what they're trying for. Yeah. We were talking about that where, like, I, I think the game is too item dependent. Mm -hmm. Like items actually make certain comps and, and champions viable instead of the other way around. Yeah, so, I agree. Nice you kind of have to like, like build your comp around your items rather than build your items yeah. around your comp. Mm -hmm. uh, so overall, I think it's a good patch. Nerfed kind of the super oppressive th things. That being said, there were like, say if, say if uh, uh, demons were tier one then tier two and tier three would have been like gunslingers and rangers right those didn't get any touch like any nerfs to them so then those have just shifted up to tier one so i think they probably had to do a bigger balance update overall um so, i don't know it's just weird i i feel like they need to do more balancing in these rather than just like nerfing the best thing in the game but at least it's a start right the main thing they yeah. have to work on is making sure there's no bugs when they release it i think releasing a patch where there's like two game breaking bugs and ranked queue is live is like not good for the game at all mm -hmm. especially when it takes Agreed. like 12 hours to fix or something <laughs> yeah cool nice our last cool. little bit colton have you seen yeah. these at all yeah i actually just read up about it um so these are going to be the new next four characters in uh tft they're on pbe um, they also justify some of the changes added to those tiers where now we have like nine blade master six gunslinger available kind of stuff um, so this is hextech origin um, and you can get a two or a four bonus uh, to disable random enemies or random items on the board mm -hmm. oh okay yeah. um, so camille is your cost one blade master uh, what does her ult do it, it's like her ultimate it's her r ability in game that's why I think okay gotcha Yes, I think people were talking about, like, it may function a little differently. It, you lock because... someone down, they can't move, is, like, what it does. So it's functionally her R ability. Okay. Uh, Jace, he's a cost 2 shapeshifter. Uh, his ability, when he goes and transforms, he's going to knock you back with his hammer. So he starts melee, then he turns into ranged and hits max attack speed for a little bit. Vi mm -hmm. is a cost 3 brawler. Her ultimate is that she's going to target the farthest unit away from her on the board and use her R ability, would, you know, dash over there, knock them up, deal some damage. And then Jinx is a tier 4 or cost 4 gunslinger. Uh, her passability is after she kills, I think it's she kills, not a unit dies. Um, she, she has to get an assist, like in League. Yeah, she needs to be at least hitting them. 
Um, that first one that goes down, she gets bonus attack speed. Second one that goes down, her autos start doing AoE damage. So, that's pretty strong. And again, that would potentially allow you to have a six, uh, six gunslinger comp. Uh, Vi against six brawlers, Jace, six shapeshifters, Camille, potentially up to nine blade masters, but I believe that requires you to turn some characters into blade masters. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have to. They said it's currently possible, just very hard. Yeah, you just need to get three Blade of the Roman Kings and all yeah. six Blade Masters. Uh, Best Mate Australia posted in our Discord, and he mentioned that uh, Camille Alt in the thread mentions explicit external control over AI's targeting in the new effect, and we'd like to see players consider who they want to target on the enemy team. So he's thinking that it's like a Zephyr effect where you place her and then she targets uh, whatever like the opposite unit is or whatever with her alt which is kind of cool i'm glad that there's more like player control hopefully stuff like that yeah i was i was seeing people talk about it and they were thinking it would be like a um sort of like a reverse taunt i guess mm -hmm. like she would ult someone and that person would gain taunt so That'd your cool. team would then start hitting her That'd be really cool. Uh, also, yeah. they did say they're workshopping the actual Hextech Origin a lot uh, currently on PBA. They know they want it to be some sort of item disable, but they're not sure how they're going to get that. Originally, they said it was uh, disables the items at the beginning, random item at the beginning for six seconds. Right now, it disables it like for the round. Uh, they might change it to uh, disables items of the unit that you're hitting, I think is a good suggestion. I think random is a little bit weird, especially for something as strong as items. But making it so, like, say, if your Camille's hitting their AD carry, then she can disable their items. I think that's a better way of balancing it, but we'll see. Yeah, maybe if they get ulted by a Hextech character. Although that might even be too late, I suppose. I think even just, like, autoing them would be, like, a better yeah, way of doing I think, it. Yeah, if they get autoed, I, as long as it can't apply to more than, like, one person at once, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, that's just the person they're focusing can disable an item or something. Yeah. I think that'd be a cool way of doing it. I think random's a little weird. <laughs> mm-hmm. Agreed. Cool. Cool. We're on to Oof. the best section ever, Nick. What yeah, the five the stars. <laughs> the Raidus five stars section. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four, five, five reviews this week. Pog. Who wants to read the first? as many stars as you should give us anytime <laughs> you put feedback on them. Even if it's a negative yeah. comment, five stars. Uh,. Does anyone want to read the first one? Because I feel like I shouldn't read the first one. No, sure. it's just your favorite. It's your favorite. It is my favorite. It's probably my favorite review we've ever gotten. It's so good. <laughs> so, Silva Louise Jr. Uh, uh, said... Oh. Wait, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Sorry. 7111Z said, I try to listen to other league podcasts, but none come close to you guys. All the rest sound so unprofessional next to you three. I also love the Brotherhood vibe. Uh, Aiden should be the only host. Col Colt and Nick, just not as good. Overall, thank you for releasing <laughs> league content. Love you guys. Keep it up. Uh, so actually, Mr. 71111Z, um, we've just, Colt and I have decided to leave the show. So uh, this will be our last episode. Next week will only be Brother Aiden recording. Yeah, um, we actually both got cut out of the will as well. Um, yeah. So, Brother so thanks for that. My family was people. depending on that. It's my favorite uh, fucking... It's my favorite. No, it's super good. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. <laughs> it's super good. Thanks for the feedback, dude. Appreciate it. We we also think Aiden's a pretty great part of the show. I guess. Um, <laughs> from Luis, he said, uh, Great podcast. Keep up the great work. Luis from Brazil. Or Luis. 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 Did you rate us oh. numero uno? Yeah, all these are five stars. Don't you worry. <laughs> uh, next one is from, I'm just going to say Barge, even though there's like an E in there. Uh, or is that a Q? It's That is a Q. Yeah. That is a Q. Never mind. Um, so, Bar? I'm still going to say Barge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to call or you Barge. Bay, <laughs> and then RQE. Bay, Bay, R. Bay, RQE. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, long time listener, great podcast. Give your boy a shout out. Fed Fred, add me on league. <laughs> Fed oh, sick. Fred. Next time you should leave a review with your um, like Twitch stream and your social own security. That you uh, That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. No, thanks for the review. Thanks for the review. <laughs> I'm just uh, kidding. Right, definitely that's toxic. Yeah. Hit, hit us up Check out Fed Fred. He's a, he plays on EU West only. Does he? He doesn't look like he does because he's a gold, a gold two that's player was, in NA. I was trying to sabotage it, dude. Jin main, by the way. 
Chin main, by the way, discussing currently in game playing. Uh, oh, actually, playing let's, Jin. Uh, let's check it out. Um, He's playing a let's normal give a game. Live We're just gonna take like a thirty-minute pause yeah, to the yeah. show to watch the rest of his game. His uh, top laner yeah, is master tier right? for some reason in this normal game. Fed Fred live yep. game. <laughs> Okay, wow, very Let's check out his runes. Oh, he's running fleet footwork on uh, Jin. Pretty oh, meta. Disag- hard disagree. <laughs> hard disagree. I think you're supposed to run Glacial Augment on, on Jin. Nice, only you. But oh, that's what, that, I think uh, that's only when you jungle. Oh, dude, uh, what else? honestly, that, that thing is so tilting, that bug. They need to fix it. Uh, Do you guys want to check out his match history? Let's no, I want to check out the stories. next review, which is from AGP Gator. And he says, "Listen to every episode up to the la- for, uh, for eh, bleh, bleh. listen to every episode for the last three years. Uh, love the format and the banter. Keep up, keep it up. P.S. Nice socks, Aiden. Thank you. <laughs> Got him. Nice socks, Aiden. It's <laughs> funny because Calvin the Klein original socks. meme, <laughs> brother he just, Aiden. He just good replaced socks. he replaced the original word with a synonym. <laughs> That's fucked. <laughs> That's, <laughs> fucked. Uh, last That's one. very rude." <laughs> Last review here is from Caleb, uh, and he says, Hey, my name is Caleb, and I started listening to the podcast about six months ago. I have sent in questions and always received great responses. To be totally honest, I still don't know all their names when I listen to the podcast, though I do love and enjoy their personalities. Anyway, I have always dreamed of making my passions a job, and I am impressed and inspired by how they turn something they love to talk about into a successful podcast. Define success. <laughs> uh, also, my name is uh, is Big Papa Pump. You can check me out. I used to wrestle in the WWE, Scott Steiner, um, and now I do this League of Legends podcast. Uh, well, I think we should go and like introduce ourselves. We haven't done that in a while. Uh, my name is Carl's Jr., a very popular franchise across the United States. I've never heard of it. <laughs> uh, you may you may also know me as Hardy's. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hardy. <laughs> um, okay. No, okay, so uh, I, I'm Colton, uh, also Blue Basket on League of Legends. Oh, this is a fun. This is a fun we're doing. You, you completely <laughs> shit on Aiden. My name is uh, Rodeo Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sorry, Antonio. Mr. Rodeo. <laughs> uh, thanks, Caleb. My name's Caleb, too. Shut up, Nick. It's scale of three. <laughs> uh, all right, let's um, <laughs> let's go into the round table. Let's go into the round Thanks table. Thanks for all yeah. the reviews. Uh, so this well, last week's round table let's question. Sure. Uh, <laughs> was, oh, Pog, yeah, dude. Huh? <laughs> what is one thing you'll quit the game over if it gets changed? And on our Discord, we got eight responses in a row saying if League <laughs> stops putting out shows. So I'm not gonna mention those people by name. Uh <laughs> I, you know someone I should think we should call out by name? Who? David the Sedge guy. If you're gonna commit to a bit, you gotta commit to it. You can't give us a real answer and then the haha funny one you know <laughs> yeah exactly you go hard to go home uh but the real <laughs> answers for discord uh cowboy otter said all right honest answer i'll stop playing when they make league of legends 2 fair pards bay because yeah, then you go play the new one yeah i would probably quit if they stopped having a pro scene i think a pro scene pushes the game forward and helps keep the game more balanced for everything that is too strong and just abused in pro play no pro scene would probably lead to just more a more for fun mindset like here's the storm currently not a bad mindset just not one i favor I think that's a really, really good answer. I think so too. Yeah. Um, Dragon said, "I'd stop pay. I'd stop playing if they uh, if the rotating ch- uh, free champions were the only ones that could be played." I think there's some merit to that being like possible, though. What if Nick? I think we need more characters in the game. But if there was 200 characters in the game, what if ranked was limited to 125 per like? No, bad idea. I don't think that's a, the worst idea. I like the idea of rotating metas. I, I think I would only play when my champion was like there. Yeah, yeah I think the only problem with that is it really like it really takes away one trick player's ability to enjoy the game, and I think there's a lot of them out there. Yeah, I, I don't think it's right for this game. I just think that it's an idea. Right? Like, I, I think that's fair. Yeah. For example, I think be a fun game mode. A game mode where just once again, I think the best game mode they could ever make is still. Riot, hire me for this one, is getting into champion select, and it just shrinks the pool down to 10 characters. And you pick back and forth between the 10 characters. 
Oh, you draft like between the between the two okay. two teams. I think that's a, I think that'd be the best game mode. I think that'd be so much fucking fun. I still think the best game mode is if they just combine everything. Yeah, that'd be wild. I still yeah, think the best they're... game they mode is twisted done tree yet. lines. Why are they getting rid of it? Well, ha, nice. Remember twisted tree line uh, hexakill? I feel like that. Yeah. is something they should bring back as a fun event with twisted tree line. Like that was so much fun. Maybe like the last week of tree line's existence that'd be fun they should do what it what if they release a bunch of like balance patches for it over the course of the year yeah <laughs> want to make it highly competitive for its last season and uh, then they take it out and shoot it our last discord answer is from nipla and he says i'm a serial league quitter uh once the meta was tanks and ADCs were worthless and then they were massacred by my boy er- then they massacred my boy ergot and what? i gave up learning how to play the play the rework i go through cycles hi nipla Erg- <laughs> We got rework is like one of the coolest in the game. I'm Nipla and I'm a I'm a serial league quitter. <laughs> Hi Nipla. <laughs> uh, from our Facebook, uh, Seth said, uh, "If they give me another stupid Rengar skin, <laughs> this Mecca, uh, the Mecca with the Bat uh, Mobile back. Wait, the Mecca with the back Batmobile back and the pretty kitty. Come on, just give him a good skin." <laughs> uh, Juan uh, Juan said. Uh, if they got rid of draft mechanic and games, I would quit. I never want to play a single blind pick uh, again. With blind pick again, those are so True. bad. That's fair. Rowan said, "If they have another rework, it's impossible to deal with." As Irelia, I play control mages, and I can't kill her or outrun her if she shows up in my lane. I could see that kind of being annoying if they really keep just releasing. Like, I mean, I feel like they always will release. Um, yeah, that's what I was going to say. You might as well just character. quit now. <laughs> yeah, they're never going to like we talked about the last week. Was they're never going to release an eighty carry that's just an eighty carry anymore? I think. Um, Dayton said, uh, all champions are replaced with 140 Teemos. They can keep their original kit, but they're graf- graphically, they are Teemo. Everything is voiced by Christopher Watkins champs. Uh, they changed the announcer's voice, even the shopkeepers. See, that's a good idea for an April Fool's event, but Riot just gives characters big heads. <laughs> or disables chat. Character. <laughs> <laughs> that's so boring, dude. Um... Uh, Theo said, if Riot got rid of the pro championship competitions for Summoner's Rift, uh, in effect doing doing what Blizzard did to HOT, it might not affect the game immediately, but it would cause a crisis of confidence in the future of the game. Players would drift away, and I eventually would too. I see Summoner's Rift because TFT could be a thing. Uh, could be the thing. That's fair. Uh, Dustin said, if the UI gets any worse, I'm done. It baffles me that in 2019, such lack of clarity and usability exists. For example, why can't I change in-game setting from... From the lobby settings menu, I really have to wait until I get in game when the cl- clock is ticking to mess with settings or load up a bot game or practice tool just to mess with settings. I know it's possible, but it's really annoying. Yeah, I feel like they need to fix a lot of stuff like that. It's a little bit clunky. And last but not least, Chris said, uh, if they ever remove a champion completely, I get that visual overhauls and reworks can revital- revitalize old champions or bring them back into the fold. But if ever a champion down the road that they just decide doesn't fit with League at all and it's best for them to get rid of, I'll quit playing simply because I would never feel safe maining a champion again without being fearful that they would just get removed. I think that's actually a really good answer. I think there would mm-hmm. be problems with like everything that's going on in the company if they remove characters, right? Like something's going wrong. Yeah, I like you can't do that. Yeah. That opens like then a gate that or like a door that you can't ever close again. Yeah, imagine I how many know. people would be Bad like idea. remove this character. <laughs> mhm. Yeah, it'd be a mess. Um, so this week's uh, question is actually suggested by Mountain Drew last week in an email. He said, you were asked to cook the best meal out of all the jungle camps. Which one do you would you choose, and how do you prepare it? It's got to be Gromp, right? It's got to be Gromp. 100%. It's got to be Gromp. Most meat on the bones. <laughs> it's, He's a it's big boy. huge, literally the size of you. Like, frog's a delicacy. Now, so here's, here's the thing. If you were asked to cook the best meal out of all the jungle camps, okay, so mm-hmm. out of, okay, which one would you, okay, sorry. I thought that first, like, line of setup for me, for a moment, I was like, oh, wait, I have to make, like, all of a meal mind. incorporating everything, right? So I got, like, I got, like, a nice, like, chicken stew with the raptors, but I, like, sprinkle in some red buff to make it extra spicy. No. No, it's just, I gotta pick one camp, and, and you guys yeah. both pick grump. The every single grump. player, every single person, better respond. Gromp. That's all I grump want. Gromp is thick. Gromp so is thick. Grump. Maybe all right. Maybe exclude Gromp then, because that's what the listeners are going to say. You know. 
I mean, no. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Raptors are gonna make some pretty nice. Like they already call them popcorn chicken. Like Red Buff is Who? like a the <laughs> casters, dude. <laughs> LCS Castro. I've called never the heard. I've chicken. never heard that either. I've never heard serious? them saying popcorn chicken in my life. Are you for real? The only time I've ever heard Castro say that um, is this Saturday when you say it during a game to prove me wrong. Okay, I- I'm surprised. Like, I feel like it was more common. Maybe it's like a streamer that I watch, and I'm completely mistaking it, but. I, I could have sworn that was like a really common Colton thing. Watches to... his own vibes. No, 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 no. So have you at least have you at least heard people call like raptors like chickens? Yeah. Yeah, chickens, yes. Yeah. Okay. Popcorn chickens, never. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, uh I think a lot of the other camps, like, Krugs are basically just rocks. Like Red Buff okay, is a weird like, a plant animal hybrid. Blue Buff, I don't even know what it is. At least at least raptors and wolves. And Gromp are like animals I understand. I don't want no frog legs. I'm not going to eat what's basically a dog. Give me the chicken. Nah, dude. You I gotta get Krugs. Turn them into rock candy. Done. Problem solved. Oh, you know we haven't considered though? Scuttle. Yeah? Because it's a crab. Y'all like crab? That's, I mean, we also got Rift Herald, which got some more meat on his bones, or her bones. Do Shelly? Yeah, but Rift Herald might kill you. Maybe. Like, you know. We need an octopus champion in the game. And a giraffe. Yeah. Do you guys think giraffe tastes good? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Why? <laughs> I'm asking the hard questions that no I one think, else will. I don't think giraffe would taste very good. Okay. I think that they are fairly active, and I, I don't think they'd have a ton of, like, meat because they've got a lot of, like, structure and, like, sinew and ligaments, I would imagine, to, like, support them. I, I don't think they'd we have very good No, meat. we have the same amount of vertebrae yeah. in our backs as they do in their necks. <laughs> that's a lot of room for, that's a lot of room for, for the goods, you know? Yeah. Plus, plus, they're herbivores. And I learned this week that herbivores are what taste good. I I don't remember what that's from, but I also saw that. It's from JoJo. Oh, you're right. You're right. When he at- <laughs> True. I totally forgot. <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks for the Tell question. Tell us why you think Gromp would be Drew. the best. Well, you didn't get to give me, I didn't get a meme quote in my answer. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Hang on. All right, um, yeah. We're going to cut this out. Ready? Yep. <laughs> nice one, Colton. Uh, Aiden, what about your answer? Well, you know the caster is called Baron, the crab rangoon of the of the of the, of the rift. So, they already shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, but yeah, I was just memeing him. Anyways, if you want to tell us uh, uh, nice. which jungle camp uh, you'd cook and make the best meal out of, and how you'd prepare, it, you can hit us up on our Facebook page at Leadcast. Send us email mail at leadcastpodcast dot com. Or come into our roundtable, uh, come into our Discord and post in our roundtable section. Cool. Sick. Cheese pick of the week with Colton Sweat. Yeah, cheese pick. Okay. So we all know Sejuani's good in the jungle right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. But we got to bring her in the top lane because that's what cheese you, pick's you all about. You ganking up there? You ganking top lane? You ganking your own lane as Sejuani, Whoa. dude. You're walking up. You got some nice attack speed. You take your grasp of the undying. And you just you're dipping in and out of the bush, so you get your passive back up. You have crazy armor and magic resist. You get tons of free health, and you just—it's real easy, especially if you're like in a laning situation to get off your stun. One auto W, two three stacks, one more auto, boom, stun, kill him. Just dick on the lane. Late game, you're going to be a nutty team fighter with even more items, even more damage. I think as long as you're against like a melee character. That's not going to stomp you into the ground, right? Like the, the cluds of the world or like a Jace. I think you'll actually be really good into like other tanks or bruisers that aren't, you know, going to easily punish you. I think so too. Plus I if think you have a melee same... jungler, you can definitely get off ganks. Sorry for interrupting you, Carlton. Um, I think we were seeing this like last year a little bit. Like you'd go, um, I think you'd go like Doran's Corrupting Potion... Maybe grass, maybe aftershock, and then you just max W and and like harass a bunch. 
That's fair. Sick. Uh, LCS section, we're going to talk about the next week because uh, LCS will be ending. And uh, it's been pretty exciting. But for now, let's get into mail fight. Uh, the first email is from the newest pirate lord of tin butt stuff. Uh, sick name, Dear Doctor's League Cast. First off, I know it's an old round table, but my favorite old build is AP Scion with a ton of move speed. Something about running like a race car and exploding for half... For the half the team's health made me so happy. As for my question, lately I've been spamming GP and really enjoying the nuances of picking runes and changing my build every game. This led me to lead to look through the items and remember that Ohm Wrecker existed. I was trying to think of how to fix this never built item. The problem I came to is that if its stat slash gold ratio is good, then the activation is cancer. How would you fix it? Uh, that's a good question. Make it work on your own turrets too. Like, not disable them, but, like, empower them for a little bit. Make them, maybe make them damage immune. I think that's one way to do it. I think another way is instead of having it be an active item, just make it another tank item where it's just, like, you take less damage from turret hits. I think that's Hmm. one way to do it, where it's just, like, hey. I think that's cancer. I think it's a little cancer, but I also think that that would be a clear choice that you have with a lot of other armor items where you can say... I want to take less damage from crits. I want a slow attack speed. With, you know, adaptive helm, I want to take less damage from on hits or, you know, repeated magic attacks. I want to have a choice that I'm, I want to dive towers this game. That's my goal is that I'm going to go bottom and I'm going to dive that tower over and over. And Ohm Wrecker does not fit that role currently, and I think it could. That being said, I think it would need to be balanced very particularly to not just be stupidly overpowered or ruin the game. What if it had a passive where you took more damage from turrets, but you dealt more damage to turrets? And it, they kind of made it into this like nuanced split pusher item. Uh, give it like armor, magic resist, maybe some health, and kind of made it for tanks. I could see that as a tower ta- taking option. Okay. Yeah, kind of like, hey, this is for split pushing tanks mm-hmm. and not for... And then AD but... carries by it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> actually I, yeah i could see that maybe not then maybe not bad idea uh but thank you but stuff i should have just i should have just routed your entire name on air <laughs> uh next email is from tango uh and he says what would make me quit lol if they bring back black market brawlers Odd, but I'd play that night and day until it was removed and never look at the game again. What are your thoughts on that game mode? If you even remember it from it, yeah, if you even remember it from TF and Graves rework, I think that's when that was released. Um, uh, it was. It wasn't the Graves rework. I believe it was the GP rework. The GP because they killed him and you couldn't rework, pick him. And then there goes like the TF and Graves like lore as well, though. Yeah, because like, they. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yep. Or if they turned into Smite, the Battleground of the Gods, where they dump out a new champion as fast as possible and rarely ever rework or balance anything, it gets sickening to play that game. You could never leave for a few months and come back because there are so many new gods, you have no idea what they do, and it's not the easiest to get information that quickly. But yeah, I tried to quit, but like an addiction, at one point or another, it'll pull you back in. Uh, by the way, tried to go straight top lane since the last email, but haven't played that much. Two and two for promos to silver. And this hick internet for small towns in Canada is killing me. I'll catch up to you guys soon enough. A great podcast, 5 out of 5. And love the extra long episode this morning. Your bronze stuck listener, Tango. By the way, wasn't actually expecting you to go to my OPG. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I like Black Mark Brawlers. I think the items were, like, super cool. Um, but I don't think I'd quit if they brought it back, I guess. I, I think he's saying he liked it so much that he doesn't Yeah, yeah, see I'm it. just saying mm-hmm. no. He's wrong. You're wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, good luck with your, with your promos. That's pretty exciting. You're almost there. Hell yeah. Um, next is... Oh, my. What? Okay. Next is from Ragjiz. <laughs> and he said, hey, guys. Just wanted to know uh, what your opinion on playing in windowed mode at a lower resolution is. I've seen many pros do it, specifically Bjergsen. 
I think the idea is that you have to move your eyes less to gather all the information on your screen. Depending on posture, monitor size, and eyesight, players have a limited vision of their minimap or physically have to move their head to see the minimap. I personally have made the switch to 1600 by 900 windowed last year and thought it was awesome. I have failing vision, bad posture, and a 27-inch monitor. I've dropped it down to even a lower resolution and I'm not seeing any downsides. What are your thoughts on doing this? Can it help lower ELO players get better map awareness and can it help higher ELO players gather information quicker? Are the ben benefits negligible? Thanks, Ragges. Um, so I think in the case of Bjergsen, it's kind of exploited uh, like a lot of his play this, this year. <laughs> That's fucked. Um, but honestly, though, <laughs> suck it. That's fucked. Um, <laughs> Got him. I think it has a uh, minimal benefit. I guess this is the main thing. It does. Yeah. The whole point is, yeah, you have less to look at. You know what I mean? It's a smaller, uh, I guess, screen size for you. Um, is it like enough to like actually make you become a gold three player from a gold four player? Probably not. Um, could it potentially help in various situational aspects of your gameplay? Potentially. I would say if it helps you because you have bad vision and bad posture, if it helps you improve those two things, 100% go for it, right? But as a way to improve your play, I don't think that's worth yeah. it at all. <laughs> I think it's pretty minimal. I think it'll probably lessen your enjoyment, just not being able to see the game as well and like look at the, the pretty art elements that they spend a lot of time making. Um, and I think it's a very, very limited scope of any, if there's actually a benefit to it where, mm -hmm. okay, maybe if you have like, if you're playing on like a 44 inch TV full screen, yeah, you're going to miss and you're like 10 inches away from it. You're going to miss things. But if you're playing on like a regular size monitor at the standard resolution, you can see everything on your screen at the very least in your peripheral. Yeah. Um. And making it smaller is not going to be like, oh, like somebody doesn't come onto my screen and get a quarter way in before I notice. I'm like, oh wow, I'm, I'm so upset that my 27 inch monitor is way too big. Like I, I couldn't see them for three seconds. Like you, you see everything that's happening on your screen if you have an appropriate size screen and are sitting an appropriate distance away from it. Um, I, I think it's very negligible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thanks so, for the email though. Good yeah, luck. thanks for the email, Mister Mister Rag. Hey, I mean, but if it works for you, like, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next email from Victor, the original League of Legends champion. Uh, Hi, League Cast. How's it hanging? <laughs> Here are some spicy roundtable questions. Oh, so these are both just roundtable propositions. Yeah, you just want to take these, Aiden? I would put them in the vault. I'll put. Yeah, I'll put, put them in the vault. vault. Victor, you, Victor, we see your email. We appreciate it. We're putting it in the vault because these are quality questions that we might, you know, just crowdsource and have Aiden do less work. So, thank you. Yeah, next up is from Broken Banjo. Hey, all Broken Banjo here. I've been listening to you guys now since January, and I've really enjoyed the show. Um, you guys have really helped me out improving since I've started listening. A couple of questions for you as well as my own cheese pick. I'm in the top lane. And I was wondering what type of champions do you think are better to play as, a tank or a bruiser? Currently, play a Cho if we need a tank, but if support slash jungle plays a tank, I play Urgot. Um, second question is, does anyone have a good story behind your username? Mine is very not safe for work where I ripped a bit of myself and actually started playing League in a hospital ap after my operation. <laughs> oh. Uh and the cheese pick my friend and I love to play within bot lane is Anivia Singe. Singe plays as the support at level 6. Anivia uses her ulti to damage the enemy duo. Uh, they're going to run out of the circle. Singe glue. Um, then they get flipped back into it. All while Singe is gassing them down. Thank you for your amazing show. Keep up the good work. Your friendly Welsh listener, Broken Banjo. Huh. Um. Huh. <laughs> Uh, it's I weird because it, like, my to username is your... also because I ripped a bit of myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, so to answer your first question, I think a tank is harder to play at lower elo, like from a team perspective, because generally they're initiators and it's going to take longer in general for your team to follow up. Um, and if you initiate like on Malphite and no one follows up, it's it's not going to do as much. You, you just know, die. 
Yeah, pretty much. Um, so depending on your ELO, I'd probably recommend Bruiser. I think Bruiser itemization is a little better at this point anyway. Um, so I'd, I'd say stick to that. Uh, I think we've talked about our names on the show before. Uh, mine is just a, a combination of um, letters I picked when I made my RuneScape name like 15 years ago. The king part? That's but, you, you know that's a word, right? No, king. it was... Oh. Yeah, it was just lard out, and then that oh. account, uh, I in my head canon got hacked. Although I probably just lost the password, and was too dumb to remember it. Yeah. Uh, so I just made another account and just added the king in front of it. That's smart, because then you add that bad guy back, and you go, "I'm your king." Now. Hey, look, I own you. Yeah, that's. Smart. Hey, it's me, your king. <laughs> um, mine was just literally like, I. I had an account name that I had used previously on other things that at the time I was using as a password for a couple things, so I didn't want to reuse that. Um, and so I was like, okay, I'll come up with a new account name. And being what this was nine years ago, that puts me at 14. Sounds about mm-hmm. right for when I was making my league account. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was an edgy 14-year-old, and so I like tried write like the the common things you're like shadow blade or just like <laughs> death master <laughs> nice. stupid shit like that we're like this will be cool and i was like fuck these are all taken and i'm just like i don't i'll just pick a fucking like color and a fucking object i don't know blue basket oh not taken perfect it's a good name though i like it thanks um sorry i was talking to colton i mean to aiden <laughs> well I don't fuck really, i messed up my own joke i don't really have Come a on. username is the problem uh, yeah, that's like so. It's it's been a it's good because I like having goofy usernames for everything, right? Like on PUBG, I'm the cum cadet, right? On Steam, I'm marijuana nays, right? Like I like having funny. I, I overall I like having funny account names. It is problematic though, like not having like some sort of ID online. I think so. My original account name in League was Frost which I think is a good account name. It had an alt code in it for the O, right? Because obviously not that original. That's because I used to always use the username XXIceChard prior to making my account, which was prior to 10 years ago, right? So prior to when I was 13. So 12 and younger, I always used XXIceChard because it's super cool. Uh, and then I'm like, that's dumb when I was 13 year olds making <laughs> making my league account. So I made it Frost, which is actually not a bad account name. Uh, and I had an alt code in it. And then... Me, Col- me, no, no. It was me, Matt, and Nick, uh, all jokingly uh, under my suggestion, changed our account <laughs> yeah. name to a variation of Super Hot Fire Boy. Um, as a, f- it was funny because we all had Super Hot mm-hmm. Fire Boy as our account name in different ways. Um, and then when I went to go change it back, uh, Riot had decided that they weren't allowing alt codes on NA anymore because people don't use that in English apparently. Uh, that's racist, Riot. Um, and. So I can't put an alt code back in my name. So I couldn't get Frost back as my account name. So I was super sad about it. So then I just changed it to meme names from the last like five or six years. <laughs> I had it as 420-420-420 for a while. I had it as Tom Stench. I had it as... I had it as a bunch of different things. So I don't know. I'm a little bit lost. I'm like a lost child kind of. Maybe you just need a different like single word. Yeah, it's hard to know? figure find that though. That's the problem. <laughs> mm-hmm. So. Why don't you just pick XXI Sharp? <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you have any single word name recommendations that are available on any league, why don't you uh, send us an email? Why don't you purchase the account first and then... <laughs> or put it in the general <laughs> chat. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Hi- yeah. Highest amount of... I've also... <laughs> I've considered... <laughs> Never mind, I can't say that. Uh, like, <laughs> what do you yeah, consider? Just changing your name your to like... Are... Just, just crowdsource it like, on Twitter and be like, hey... Highest boats, that's what I'll change my name to. <laughs> so I was, I was originally McFrosty. thinking, I'm like, I was like, at one point I was like, I really should start doing more, like, streaming and stuff like that. And I was like, what if I made it so Highest Nation always had my account name? <laughs> <laughs> but it would, like, increase, right? Because it started, I was like, if someone donates a dollar, yeah. they get my, they, I change my account name. All right. And then two dollars. And then eventually it's like, it's thirty five dollars if you want me to change my fucking account name. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> the only thing is, like, then you're kind of like hard locked on ever changing your account name. I mean, I, I kind of like I like yeah. the idea overall though, because I don't yeah. really care. Is no, the that main sounds thing. fun. But yeah, 
That sounds fun. Yeah, so if you want to pay me, well, it'd be plus the $10 name change. So if you want to pay me $11, I'll change my name to what... Uh, anyways, yeah, that's... Yeah, thank you, Banjo. Yeah. Thank you, Banjo. Yeah, next email's from Ryan. Been listening to you guys since the last MSI and honestly love the banter and super helpful insight into all things League and Aiden's Tom Kentrance. I'm a top lane main who rocks Yorick... Yeah, sorry, Aiden. Garen and Mordekaiser, currently climbing my way out of iron despite toxic teammates. If you guys have any advice as to how to overcome my AD carry or jungles constantly flaming or throwing tantrums and costing the game, it'd be super. I'd be super grateful. Uh, love your cast. Helps my boring work day. Ten out of ten, Ryan. Uh, mute everyone at the beginning of the game. Just turn off chat and all chat. That'll help. Um. And uh, you're playing Yorick, so you're adding probably like threefold toxicity to the game. So consider that. I think I saw a post on Reddit. It was um, an AMA of a top laner who never helps his jungler. <laughs> and I kind of like respect that. So I think you should give that a try. Like if you're if you think helping your jungler will be beneficial to you, you should probably help him. If it's only going to be detrimental, fuck it, dude. Who cares? So it's that that's the problem of like affecting your own mental, right? Is like the thing. So, if I'm playing a diamond 2 game, right? And I go, "Oh, I have TP. Oh, there's a they're they're level 2 ganking my bottom lane. I can TP and stop this gank, right?" If I TP down there and it goes well, great. If I don't TP, cool, whatever. It's not my lane. My bottom lane might lose, but whatever. It's not my lane. My mental's fine. If I go down there and die and we get killed, I'm game's over. No, I'm not You're playing. Done. I'm I lost. I, I don't have TP. I don't have lane advantage. Like, it's like a problem of like ruining your own game is the problem, right? I feel like yeah, muting everyone and just playing your own game is honestly your best bet. You can't stop people from flaming and throwing tantrums, right? The only way you can do that is by hard smashing your lane really hard to the point where they're like, "Holy shit, this guy's a god!" I'm not gonna get upset, but that's not that's asking a lot of you to say. Hey, just play better than your ELO, but like a lot. <laughs> just, just, yeah, just play it. Like if you're an iron, just play the gold level, or like you just play two divisions above where you're currently at, and then your team will be happy enough about winning. They might not flame, and even then, not necessarily. Yeah, you just gotta play your best, and honestly, just like try not to let other people's toxicity affect you. Honestly, you just gotta grind it out, my friend. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. Next is from Lil Barnabas. Uh, Ola Ombres. Um, I think a good round table is what's your favorite league moment that could be personal professional or whatever mine is probably that time I queued up and then got in game with you guys by complete chance then we killed Colton while he was invading level one sounds accurate uh, and then I got a sick flash stun kill on Nick sounds n inaccurate and then I got absolutely decimated for the next 15 minutes <laughs> sounds about uh, right yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> I just like to hear more people's favorite league moments too Shalom Lil Barnabas uh, P.S. If anyone wants a discount on a luxury cruise full of old people, let me know. I would love oh, that. Sick, dude. How big of a discount? If you give me like a seventy percent discount on a cruise, <laughs> I'll take it. I, we should go. I would love to. Cruises are so expensive, dude. Cruises Wait, aren't expensive. The, depending on the discount, what are the three of us got on a luxury cruise full of old people? <laughs> dude, I, I fucking cruises are. Great. I'd fit in with my own people. <laughs> True, Nick would because I'm old. They're just expensive. And then I would be just getting like trashed at the bar. Yeah. With all the old people. They'd be getting fucked up at, like, 6 a.m. I was looking at really cruises, special, like, baby. a couple weeks ago. Because I was looking at, like... So, if you, like, live near, like, a cruise port, you can just get, like, last-minute cruise offers, like, to fill, like, mm -hmm. the last rooms mm -hmm. and shit, and they're, like, super cheap. But, yeah. Anyways, uh... I feel like, Aiden, if, if you were offered a, like, 90% deal on literally anything... Yeah. You'd think about it. Of course. 100 For, like, long. Yeah. <laughs> like you you look at the number right and you're like okay 90 percent. now you have my attention it, even if it's something you don't want i'm losing money to not do it because <laughs> yeah. if there's any time in the next 20 years where i want it i'm gonna be pissed that i didn't take it you're gonna remember that yeah uh but i, I that's guess that's how they get you on the skin sales too <laughs> it is I, I don't they haven't caught on though their algorithm is garbage whoever's like working at riot just make it so you give me crazy discounts i'll buy any skin give me your worst skin in the game i'll buy it for like 80 percent or higher <laughs> yeah right it's 70 percent off i have to i have to do it uh as for his like uh 
favorite Lee moments Actual thing. Actual question. I think we should get like submissions from people. I don't think it's the best roundtable question because I think they can be long. But if you ever have league moments that you want to share with us and stuff, I feel like they're very mm-hmm. interesting to yeah. listen to. I certainly think we've done that pretty recently too. Yeah. Um, so yeah. do you guys have any that you want to bring up as as your some of your favorites? Uh, I think one of mine of all time. This is back in season one or two, I think, where a group of my friends. We were like, we're going to pick five supports. We're going to all run barrier TP. No, we picked five tanks, I think, with barrier... Heal, heal TP. Or fortify TP, that's the one. It was, we, we all had... Sorry. We all had fortify <laughs> TP. We all had fortify TP. And then the enemy team, we got matched randomly in the game. A team of five supports who all had, I think, heal fortify. Or heal TP or something like... Just another ridiculous team comp. And so we just start loading in the game. We're like, wait. They have, wait, they have a like Soraka, Janna, Sona. What? Oh, oh, we're playing against another full troll team, just totally randomly, and it was just, it was a great game. Nice. I think Colton, like, um, it's not one of my favorite moments, but I think similarly to that as like a moment, I think we had a game where it's like me and my friends like back in season one or something, where there's like how many eighty carries were there in season one? Like eight. Not many. You know what I mean? Max sort yeah. of thing. We had a game where like we wanted to play all eighty carries and. We pick, we start picking eighty carries, and they start picking eighty carries, <laughs> and like we we like ran out of eighty carries to pick, but like we both got into like the game, and both teams were like, wait, were you guys trying to pick all eighty carries? <laughs> and both teams were, but we didn't have enough characters to, funny. so it's just like that's those are cool like one in a thousand, no probably like one in a hundred thousand moments, honestly. Yeah. Hmm. Nick, anything you want to share? So, like, melee game. Um, I'll take the pro like aspect of it. Uh, I'll like the faithful shall be rewarded is probably like my, one of my favorite league memories. So yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. It's just All such right. a good cast. Like, Faith age. I don't know. Such a good story behind it too. Like with Kobe actually playing for the team and, and rooting for them. Yeah. But yeah. Thanks Sam. Next email is from Kyle. He says, my name is Kyle and I one trick Teemo. I've been playing Teemo for about four years now and have recently made it to Diamond. I wanted to know if there is a remake for Teemo coming soon. I keep hearing news about Riot reworking Teemo and I hope it's not true. Also just wanted to let everyone know how great of a podcast this is. Five stars better than the Essence Reaper podcast. <laughs> you guys have helped me from being hard suck and gold to now a Diamond player. My main tip I can give to listeners is to not feed in lane. Play Teemo. Don't feed the top laner. Play Teemo. Teemo is the best champ by far. Play Teemo. Buy Teemo skins. Lay down some shrooms. Get carried every game. Teemo laugh and type. Better top <laughs> wins after the game, even if you go 1-8. and eight. Teemo. Nice. Thanks, guys. My league name is Finding Teemo. That's pretty uh, I actually pulled up his OPGG. Um, he's a Blitzcrank main. <laughs> no, he's a Teemo one trick. Yeah, he's he's a team of one trick. <laughs> oh, I thought I actually thought you were being serious. Like his most played no. character was like Blitzcrank. That would have been so funny. <laughs> um, no, he's got a sweet <laughs> two game Blitzcrank pool, zero uh, percent win rate. That's it. I, I had D3. a D three. I had a Hell friend yeah. like that who just was a talent one trick, and he'd play one other character, and it would just be like four games, zero percent win rate, in like a thousand games of talent. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Um as but for Timo rework for Timo. Yeah, so, probably. There's been like a bunch of like they've been playing about with a bunch of stuff on the PvE. I think they none of those changes ever went through. What were the change? They were like it was something with his ultimate. They were like completely going to redo his ultimate some way. There was like a bunch of changes. Something with his blind too. Yeah, they they kept they keep like pitching these ideas on the PvE, but they never go through. So I think they're just planning on doing like a like, not full, like, re- remake of VGU, like, visual gameplay update, but, like, maybe altering how some of his abilities work, like, maybe making mm-hmm. the shrooms last a different amount, but doing more damage or something like that. I don't think he's going to be, like, completely remade, though. They'll probably just, like, change some of his kit, I think, if they do do anything within, like, next year or two. Yeah. Well, thank you, Mr. Timo. Uh, next is from, oh, Nipla again. What's your favorite uh, summoner icon? He loves to rock Season 3 Bronze. Uh, you get to, oh, he has a series of questions for us. Okay. Uh, we get to l- delete a character and no one will remember them. Who is it? Why can't he win at TFT? Uh, and then 
Ah, I guess uh, that's it. Sorry if these have been repeated. He's currently listening to old cast. So I'll read the question, his answer, and then we'll give our answer. How about cool. that? Uh, what's your favorite summoner icon? His is a season three bronze. Uh, I like season three CLG. I think it looks good. Um, I don't have a particular favorite. I'm a pretty big fan of just the classic rose. And then also, I like Santa Baron, even though I don't even have it. Yeah. Ooh, you're a toxic player. Um, I can tell you why I don't have Santa Baron. Because you're toxic. Uh, it's because uh, my own brother and uh, Henderson, former host of the, the show, reported me and got me, uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> they got me a short band. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have been such a bad boy. Yeah. I wasn't. Ever think about that? That's they didn't want to give up on a game that was over, so I just put boxes down as Shaco and sat in the bush waiting for enemies to come at me. <laughs> oh, I would have reported you too. I was just waiting for my moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question. You get to delete a character and no one will remember them. Who say, is it? Aiden gets an answer Oh, I'm too. sorry, Aiden. It's fine. Uh, mine's my Dark sorry, Passage yeah. icon because I've never seen another player in the world. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so yeah, cool, dude. It's just dark a fucking lion. It's a tiger. It's like yeah, a, I don't know. It's tiger. a white tiger, I guess, or it's a white. I don't know. Yeah. What it is. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Um, you get to delete a character and no one will remember them. Yorick. It's a sorry, Hammer. Your kit just don't fit. Yorick, fuck Yorick. Even the new one? <laughs> yeah, fuck Yorick, dude. Huh. Plus, if um, nobody remembers them, then all of his former memories of Yorick yeah. go with it. He gets yeah, to true. he gets to cleanse it away. My nightmares um, that I've been having. Hmm. Man, can I can I delete a character, but everyone will remember them? And what's the character with the highest play rate? Because I want those people to be upset. <laughs> yeah, it's probably Yasuo, right? That's tall. No. I'm gonna delete Yasuo either way. Uh. Yeah, uh, it'd be awesome. No, I delete you. Riven. What? I delete Riven. What? You play yeah. Riven. You're the Riven. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true at all. Um, I. Who would I get rid of? I'd get rid of fucking Malazar. He shouldn't be. In... I don't know. I, so... I don't have a character I actually want to get rid of. It's hard to say. Uh, why can't he win at TFT, guys? He says bad luck. I say because bad. you touch yourself at night. <laughs> Oh, Aiden just says you're bad. <laughs> um, that's funny, though, right? That's that's pretty funny. Uh, you no, know, it's very funny. <laughs> right, I think Sorry, it's hilarious. Let's, let's do that one again. Sorry. Aiden, why can't you win at TFT? Bad. <laughs> <laughs> you guys aren't that funny. <laughs> ha, so funny. Um, why can't you win at TFT? Um, I mean, I honestly, probably because you don't understand it yet. Um, so just... Yeah, you got a tiny brain. <laughs> should, I mean, I, I think... <laughs> Only you with it's... high IQ can understand yeah. TFT. Well, <laughs> no, but it definitely takes some time to really get the game and how it works. So I think the more you play it, you're, you'll pick it up and you'll start winning. Replace the game with Rick and Morty? And now Colton's, <laughs> really, Colton's <laughs> one of those guys. It's like... <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you, Nipla. All right, next email is from. Oh, that's a long one. It's oh, Colton, Chris. can I read it while you're replugging your mic? Because it's staticky a little bit. Yeah. Uh, also, hey, don't read any parts that are in this thing. Because he says not to. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. Yell at me when uh, I say that. This I noticed this isn't in that, but I don't want to say that either. But. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> he said, Good day, mate. <laughs> Loving the shows. I've been listening to you guys since I got back to lol uh started this year from a five-year hiatus that's a long time you guys are the sole reason why i enjoy the traffic to and from work wow. with the longer shows it covers more drives so keep it up uh i don't know i uh, had a couple of questions and ideas i wanted to bounce off you guys uh coming from the show first up with the roundtable section of what they would remove i thought uh, about introducing a rotating roster available champions each season slash split which would make uh infuriating for players who specialize in a single champ as they risk losing their champion however thinking further that would be possible to uh possible that would be thinking further that would would that possibly assist with lol uh say only uh 100 and 145 current champions forcing metas to change um maybe make it only for rank queues um only backlash would be too much riot too much for riot to survive such a radical change oh we were talking about that earlier 
where you, where you could only have a certain number of uh, champions available to you. Yeah, yeah, it's a little, that's, that's, that's crazy. I didn't even read his email. I, I think it's yeah, possible. That's, that's nuts. It's just more the fact that I think that's a really bad way to balance a game. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess a quick little note. Uh, Colton did have issues with his mic, and uh, his recording stopped as soon as he unplugged it. Um, so it's just going to be Aiden and I. Hell yeah. We're going to round up the show. Uh, can I also unplug my mic to quit? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I was also curious with Cassidy teams, who are your favorites of all time in league history? Personally, I love the season two world champions, championships. Uh, Essence Reaver. Oh, quote. Okay. No, no, no. Quote Trinity Force. It's because he, oh. he's comparing it to the item. Oh, I see. Like the, gotcha. the trifecta of yeah, D-Man, Jat, and go. Joe Miller. D-Man is uh, <laughs> Zeal, rest in peace, as he always kept <laughs> up with a quick play-by-play. Play. Jad is Phage, slowing down everyone to get the point across. And Joe Miller as <laughs> Cheen, uh, helped creating large impacts about the pl- uh, about the plays had on the game. Together, I felt they did tons of damage broadcasting to the role. That's a really good analogy, my friend. I, I think yeah. that's brilliant. Uh, do you want to answer that right now? Um, yeah, I think we should. I, I actually think my the current iteration of Captain Flower is Kobe. Captain Kobe. Is probably my favorite, like casting duo, maybe yeah. of all time. So my two favorite casters, they both bo- Kobe is a color caster, so is Rivington, right? They're both color casters, I believe, right? Um, I believe. No, I think Rivington does play by play. because they've casted together. Like I feel like before. they definitely have, but I feel like they're the both bo- the way they. Because I don't think of Rivington as a play by play caster at all. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, those those are my two favorite casters. I don't. Like they they do cast sometimes together. Rivington doesn't cast that much, but uh, yeah. Either way, those are my two favorite casters at least. Um, and they yeah. said, lastly, I believe Aiden mentioned the lack of female champions outside of support slash mid. I felt like I was one of the many yelling that most of the marksmen are female. So being bored at work, I pulled together a spreadsheet of uh, male slash female uh, with their classes and riot assigned roles. Um, is there a way to? S- oh, yes, I sorted already. Wow. Um, it looks yeah, and then he has uh, the the total. At oh, the that bottom. makes it way easier for me. Um, yeah. So for male characters, there's 32 tops. 20- oh, oh, hang. Sorry, go to the um, go to uh. Can you see this part right here that I'm highlighting, mm. or is that just my side? Uh, the pretty- little chart next to like under the female one. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he has a percent. Yeah. Wow, this is, wow, you put in a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super good. So, so top has a so some of them like are obviously like different, but uh top is 34% 34.5% male, uh top is thir- uh, 17.3% female. When it extends there's more male like bruiser characters, I guess. Jungle mm-hmm. is 28% male, uh 19% female. I think that's probably probably pretty even for the most part. Mid is yeah. 22% male, 27% female. That's what I was kind of getting at yesterday. It feels like yeah. there's a lot of female caster characters in the game. Uh, for eighty carries, eight percent male, twenty uh, percent female. I uh, he is right. There is a, there's a ton of female eighty carries, I guess, in the game. Especially if you mm-hmm. don't. I wonder if you counted characters like Corky as eighty carries and stuff like that. Um, let me just look. Uh, probably. Or mid lane. Yeah, he counted it as a mid. Yeah, mid. So whereas like that character is okay. obviously originally designed to be an eighty carry. This was my idea, right? Yeah. So like yeah. that would skew it a little bit. Um. And then he even did melee in, like, range. For melee characters, 65% of uh, melee characters are melee, whereas 32% are female. Um, hmm. Ranged, 35% are um, male, a 67% female. That's kind of cool. And then he even breaks it down by enchanter, juggernaut, uh, <laughs> burster, battle mage, artillery, marksman, uh, slayers, tanks. And those look like they're... They fall into more distinct categories. For controllers, like as in enchanters, mostly female. For fighters, mostly male. For mages, mm-hmm. pretty even for the most part. Slightly female-oriented. Uh, Marksmen, as we mentioned, mostly female. Slayers, pretty even, but mostly male. Uh, and then tanks are mostly male characters. Yeah, there's very few yeah, tank male char- or female characters, right? Yeah, I mean, Sichuani, Leona? Yeah. Poppy? <laughs> There's very few, though. That's pretty much it, yeah. That's cool. Uh, and then I think the other like interesting thing to note that wasn't there is um, 93 male champions, 52 female champions. Uh, and he has a disclaimer 
if you want to read yeah, that yeah i think quick. it's actually cool uh i placed everyone mm-hmm. in a binary male female i do not believe that every character fits in such a way uh but to make the d- data easier to organize such as characters like bar genderless and kindred lamb be dom- uh the dominant form is female are thrown in apologize to all take offense i think you did that extremely like well honestly i feel like that. yeah was... I, th- I think so too like it's hard to talk about this like because you know it they're video game characters that don't necessarily have yeah we were also skirting genders. around it even yesterday ourselves right like or yeah, last week. yeah. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. cool. Uh, and then he said, a few interesting facts I found in regards to percentage of champions to their gender. Top lane is 2 to 1 male, whilst carry is 2 to 1 female. Supports and mids are relatively similar in percentage of champions made. Sort by de- uh, sort by destroying the whole mid support, mostly female roles. Uh, sort of destroying, uh, yeah. Burst, enchanters. Yeah, it's kind of what we went over, like how it's distributed and stuff. So mm-hmm. thanks again for the weekly shows. Keep them up. Saves all the car saves all the cars around me from here and my amazing car karaoke. Otherwise, <laughs> uh, regards, Chris, best mate, AU, Sydney, Australia. He was in here, yeah. He's oh, he's in the chat with us. He was, yeah. Oh, he was. Yeah, then he went to work. He hates us. Gone. Working because he's in Australia. Yeah, and it's actually daytime right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. It says get back to work then. <laughs> P.S. Don't hate me. Tried uh, the re-rolling gunslinger strategy in TFT the other day. Got my first ever first place. Uh, too proud to feel bad about it. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's it's a it's a good it's at least a very like low effort strategy which you can kind of like do. It's kind of it's kind of nice just to relax and do it sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, thank you. You said you're, yeah, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Uh, final email is from Dragon. He says, "Hey, Lee Casters, it's your boy Dragon, and I thought I'd shoot you an idea for a hot cheese with an explosive flavor. It's a duo bot cheese I discovered while touring some normal games that I, I love touring normal games <laughs> that I think has some real potential. So here's the skinny: you take Zig's bot, which has 50% win rate. By the way, I know crazy and brand support. Zig's takes down the uh, Zig goes down the sorcerer slash uh, inspiration." Trees, taking all the items that give mana and extra land sustain. His whole goal is to poke out the bot lane and get the sweet tower plates, while Brand goes down the domination sork tree, going dark harvest and mana flow. Uh, so for kill threat and poke, I've played this lane from both positions and have come out grossly ahead with the Brand usually getting the kills, but in this lane, it doesn't matter who gets the kills. Let me know what you guys think. I specifically want to know what kind of cheese Colton thinks this is, and obviously if Aiden thinks if it's, quote, shit or not. Um, uh, anyway... Uh, guys, thank you for your time. P.S. I can't see because Colton's typing in the... Okay, there we go. New Pantheon looks so sick. Uh, you're, you... Colton's still in the chat with us, so you can hear us. Your name was just, yeah, covering up the word. Um, so, yeah, I think New Pantheon looks super sick. Uh, Colton says he thinks it's good if you have uh, 80 other places on your team, like in the middle or jungle. In the mid or jungle, which I think is a good... Yeah, I think double mage bot, like, honestly, isn't that bad. Mm-hmm. Especially when um, Brand is actually, like, a good support and Ziggs is, like, a super yeah. far range character, right? You have a range advantage on both of them. I feel like it's just end up, it's like a crazy poke lane, if anything. Mm-hmm. I mean, they don't necessarily, like, synergize super well together, but I think they're individually strong, like, enough to to be able to make it work. Um, and then, uh, Colton, what, the, what kind of cheese are you pairing with this? Yeah, give us a cheese right now. Cute queso. <laughs> okay. Why didn't you wait for him to finish typing? <laughs> Q. Q. So it's like a predict. It's like okay, name all the cheeses that start with Q. Yeah. K- K- Q American. <laughs> cool. Wrap for the show. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Uh, thanks for your email, Dragon. That'll do it for episode three eighty nine. Uh, if you want to follow us on Twitter, it's at LeeCast and at LeeCast Frost. On Facebook, we are LeagueCast. Teamspeak is uh, ts.leecastpodcast.com. Uh, if you would like an invite to our Discord server, you can send us an email to mail at leecastpodcast.com. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Uh, Twitch.tv slash bluebasket and slash kinglardout are where we stream. I believe Colton will be streaming uh, his perspective, or is it just going to be on? I think uh, it's going to be on his, his stream, but Colton's going to be casting on his stream. Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Um, and then patreon.com slash leadcast uh, is where you can support us financially. Um, that'll do it. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.